Hello and welcome to the 42nd episode of Fresh Off The Reel. My name is Lib. And I've run out of bits for this joke. My name's Pat. Well, it's season three. You could have said it's season three, Pat. No. Well, it's season three, guys. Welcome to season three of Fresh Off The Reel. We're finally back from our uh, from our holiday break. We hope you all had a great holiday. Happy 2023. And with 2023 comes new movies. And with 2023 comes new episodes of Fresh Off The Reel. And with new episodes of Fresh Off The Reel, we got new guests. We got a couple guests lined up for you all this year. Starting with the first guest we ever had on Fresh Off The Reel, Stefano, a.k.a. Toon Man from Toon Man Live on YouTube. Say hi, dude. They use guys. <laughs> Good reference. <laughs> Good that was reference going? something that happened like five minutes ago. <laughs> no, 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 that that was that was a reference to Electric Company. That was a reference to Electric Company, man. That was good. Yep. Uh, how's it going, everybody? It's been a hot minute. I've been very quiet. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, uh, it's work, other things, life. You know how it is. That's why uh, we took a break. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's it's been a busy couple of months, but uh, we're back and we're recording, uh, hopefully on schedule this time. Yeah, season season three, baby, season three. Let's do this. All right. <laughs> you know what they say: sequels are always better. <laughs> Don't give the industry <laughs> any ideas. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways, uh, today we are going to be kicking off this year with our 2022 year in review our yearly year in review because we're gonna say a little bye bye to 2022 and we're gonna be talking about all the movies that we watched that we didn't really talk about on the podcast uh we're gonna stay away from the movies that we've already spoken about we're mostly just going to be talking about some of the stuff we didn't mention or just straight up ignored uh we're we're gonna be talking a little bit about some of the new stuff that came out this year, some stuff that was, you know, pretty pretty good that maybe we haven't seen, like Avatar, that happened. Uh, but yeah, let's get this show on the road. Let me just pull up this. All right, I have my uh, my diary open. I, I guess I'll uh, I'll start it off. So on January first, I watched Ocean's Twelve. This was a podcast movie. <laughs> so we're skipping Are you over saying it? January? Hold why, on, January first, twenty twenty three, or January first, twenty twenty two? 2022, 2022, 2022, 2022, it's the 2022 year in review. We're gonna okay. talk. We're, yeah, come on, man. Yep. I'm only pointing this out because the next movie was in this was uh, also a podcast movie, but we're talking about that later. It's uh, Borat, Borat One. This will come up again. <laughs> keep, keep a pin That's in a that. That's a surprise. We'll use later. <laughs> <laughs> a lot, a uh, lot of these movies are gonna be. Let's just let's just completely skip the ones we did episodes on. <laughs> well, I, I only mention it because it's the first movie I watched last year. And I think that's important to mention. It's the first. You always oh, yeah, remember your first. You always remember your always first. Always remember your first, well, ladies and well, gentlemen. Well, Ste <laughs> Steph, what was the first movie you watched in 2022? Uh, the first movie that I watched in 2022, aside from the, the one you suggested to me, uh, yeah. was Howl's Moving Castle. Ooh, Ooh, that's a good one. A very, very wonderful, beautiful-looking film. Uh, literally one of my favorite like anime style sort of films ever. Studio Ghibli, ten out of ten, amazing. Especially way back in its heyday, uh, has huge influences on me to this day. Uh, I haven't seen it. I should. Yeah, I love uh, House Moving Castle. We're up with yeah. it. Great movie. If you haven't seen it for whatever reason, or just haven't seen a Ghibli movie, uh, you totally should. I think they're a lot of fun. I think they're they're, they're full of that like whimsical. Like mm -hmm. magic that that died on us as we became bitter adults. <laughs> um, so I, I I rated it a five out of five. Uh, uh, rare rare, a rare perfect film for me. I rated a four and a half. I uh I don't have a rating for it. I've never seen it. You should. <laughs> I should. I I have to. I need to. This watch. isn't a suggestion. I'm li currently right behind you with a gun. You're gonna watch it. Uh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I need I need to watch more Ghibli movies. I've only seen two of them. And one of them one of them I watched well both of them I watched most kinda cause I was forced to quote unquote. I mean Pat did recommend me Spirited It Away, uh which I did watch in February of twenty twenty two. See good segue there. But uh the other one that I saw was My Neighbor Totoro and I watched that when I was in high school. Our teacher showed us that movie. And it wasn't for like a study thing she just showed it to us 
like on a random day she was like we have no work today let's just watch a movie and she put my name is Totoro. Good movie. I liked it. Before okay. before we move on from uh, House of the Castle, I just want to say that one of the recent reviews on Letterboxd is, is just, uh, this movie was sick because the castle actually moves dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that was funny. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no shit. Yeah, guys, if you can't tell, this episode is going to be very shoot the shit, kind of. It's just yeah. more, we're, this is a very laid back. We wanted to start calm. For the first episode, but yeah, so let's let's. Uh, my first movie of 2022 was Murder on the Orient Express. I watched it on the fourth. I, I think it, yeah, it was for the podcast. It was I can't remember which episode, but it was for the podcast. And then and then right after it, on the same day, I watched The Big Lebowski. Very both very classic films in the film industry. Very classic stories. Yeah, I I get I love Murder on the Orient Express. It's a good movie. I know a lot of people have problems with it because of the ending, which I won't spoil uh, for people who haven't seen it. But yeah, and it's also not like the best Agatha Christie adaptation ever. But eh, I don't know. I haven't seen any of them. I've only really only seen that and Death on the Nile, which we'll talk about soon. But uh, since when is any like, movie adaptation from a book ever? solid <laughs> yeah really right like it's wait hold on like they, they try their best like some of them do like no they do their darn best and like they get so close and then there's other ones that are like let's just see the source material we're just gonna toss i mean it a, lo there. a lot of them are really good like casino royale is a very good book adaptation yeah there's some of them that hit the mark some of them don't which i watched on january 15th <laughs> Yeah, it's not <laughs> nice segment. Something, there's something we forgot to mention earlier. I'm just gonna throw it in now, like a wrench, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, we watched a lot of movies together. We watched a lot of the same movies, mm -hmm. but maybe not necessarily at the same time. So, like for example, my one of my upcoming movies is a movie I know all three of us saw just at different times. Yeah. <laughs> um, in, in in scenarios like that, we're just gonna kind of jump in and and talk about it then instead of like, oh. Uh, spoilers, I watched Eternals on January 13th. I know these guys also watched Eternals, so they're just going to talk about Eternals then. They're not going to bring it up again later. We'll get that out of the way. Yeah, right. Wait. Talk about Eternals? <laughs> you don't want to talk about Eternals? I don't want to talk <laughs> about Eternals. It's, uh, it, it doesn't matter because that's not my next movie, but it just, I, I uh, use it I as know, an I'm example. Just playing, because... I'm just playing it for the bit. <laughs> I also don't want to talk about Eternals if it makes you feel better. There's a reason why it was a scrapped episode. <laughs> We're gonna talk about Eternals. Wait, can we can we just can we throw this in? Can we talk about scrapped episodes? Can we do let's do that? Let's yeah, do we that. can bring yeah, we can, sure, you can do that. We can bring it up as the movies come up, sure. Because yeah, there's a lot. There's actually there's more than you'd think. Yeah, there's actually, a lot. There's there's one that's like I right at the beginning of the, the month that we all watch together. Yeah, that's true. Uh, well, we'll, uh, yeah, you know what? Let's, let's just, let's keep this train going. Let's keep it going. You want to yeah. do that one right now? Oh, I mean, wait, no. So my, my, my next movie, it's a, it's a, it's a twofer because I watch these movies back to back. That was just like, no, uh, I don't want to. All right, <laughs> yeah, moving no, on. No. <laughs> <laughs> I watched the live action Netflix Bleach movie and then, and then mm. to clean my palate because it was so bad. I watched <laughs> one of the animated Bleach movies, which was also bad. Worse than I remember it being. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, great palate cleanser dude <laughs> yeah um i watched bleach live action and i watched bleach fade to black they're both fine <laughs> if you're a fan of bleach they're fine go watch them i guess we have a new anime now though so you just go watch the anime instead it's it's better <laughs> <laughs> that's all i want to say on those two movies <laughs> um <laughs> the, fir the first movie that i watched in the year that we didn't talk about on the podcast is Hotel Transylvania Transformania, which 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 I had as part of a four movie marathon on on the fifteenth of January. I watched that Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace, and Venom. I I, I don't know <laughs> I don't know where the relation of all those movies come in, but did I we remember watch Venom together. We did watch we watched Venom, Venom together. To, we watched Venom two together. I don't know if he watched okay. Venom by himself. I know I watched Venom one. With Pat, I don't know if you were there too, Steph. Uh, I don't remember watching Venom with I don't people. Know. I, 
I see it on my uh, on my diary now because it's on the, it's on another page. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it's there. Yeah, so Hotel Transylvania Transformania is was my first half a star in a long time. <laughs> it's also the first Hotel Transylvania movie that Adam Sandler was not a part of. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> they got an Alan Sam Adam Sandler impersonator for this movie because Apparently they couldn't it's not get very him. hard to do Dracula. <laughs> yeah, anyway, it's just you know you go blah 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 it's Dracula. You know, it's really easy. But uh yeah, I don't it's a- say blah blah blah. I <laughs> it kills them every time. It's easy to fuck up a movie, apparently, because this movie is terrible. I, I remember I watched it while I was on break at work because it's only 87 minutes long. Yeah, they really rushed the uh, they really rushed that one. <laughs> it's so like the other the sequels to Hotel Transylvania weren't good to begin with. Like they were okay at best. Like, yeah. I think there's... How many sequels are there? There's, like, four? This is the... Yeah, Transferenia is the fourth one. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry. In terms of sequels. Also, I wouldn't be counting the the first film, so three. Yeah, there's three sequels. Yeah, like, the second one, third one, and fourth one. Like, I decided to watch them in order because uh, Transformania was coming out, and eh, I don't know what they were going to talk about, but here we are. They're not... Like, they're all... They're okay. Even Transformania is the worst one by far. But yeah. you could see them. You could see the gradual decline of just in terms of writing, story. The animation is fine. If anything, the animation has improved, arguably. But in terms of like that, once again, story and just actual context, it's not very enjoyable. It's very cookie cutter, I would say. Yeah, it's terrible. Uh, that one's on my watch list. I have not seen it yet. Don't um, take it I, off. I really... <laughs> no, I, I still want to see it. I, I really like the first movie, and I'm still gonna sit through this one, but I've heard nothing but bad things about it. So. Yeah, like, you're not miss- You're not missing anything. It's like, a, it's your... If you've seen one Hotel Transylvania movie, you've watched them all. You just, essentially. Uh, keeping up the, the joke that Pat started, one of the top comments on Letterboxd for this movie is, why don't you transform these nuts? <laughs> 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 that's good that's good good joke <laughs> well well done um one of the movies that i actually watched together if i may continue yeah um that was supposed to be oh no sorry that it was uh i think it i think it was an episode that you guys did i don't remember but please correct me if i'm wrong was the Mas- matrix resurrections that was an episode. The reason why I bring this movie up is because this is my, I think, second movie ever I have legitimately wrote a review on Letterboxd. For the context of people at home, I don't use Letterboxd as often <laughs> as these two. Even Wait, though they hound me to use Letterboxd every time I watch a movie. <laughs> uh, because I just completely forget to write it. So this is my third ever use of Letterboxd ever. And my review for this is, and for those of you who have either seen their review or have seen The Matrix Resurrection, um, my favorite part, personally, I give it a nice three stars. My favorite part, personally, is the 15 frames per second Neil Patrick Harris. <laughs> it's, uh, that it's is my good, favorite part. That is my joke. favorite Neil Patrick Harris character. Fight me. That was not a mistake that they made in editing. They fucking made him 15 frames per second. I, 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 and I, for the life of me, can't find out why. <laughs> yeah, I was I was about to say this is uh, probably our most negative review that we've ever done on Fresh Off the Reel. Yeah, which is weird because I think we're we're all in agreement that the movie is like fine, like it's not bad. I give it three stars. Okay. Yeah, like it's fine. It's okay. Yeah, three stars. Um, but for whatever reason, we were really negative in that review. <laughs> I guess I was just tired. I was just like I I remember that the day we recorded that. I was very tired. I don't think I slept the night before, but yeah. And then maybe you being tired just like rubbed off on me, and I was being like extra negative that day. And we were just like, you know, um, fuck this movie, man. Just, <laughs> yeah, just who a, knows? A you're just a fucking matrix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who, who knows? But uh, if you want to hear our thoughts, uh, the episode is uh, on the channel on yep. the Spotify. But it's there. It's okay, there. so this is one that you guys have done. I, for some reason, was under the yes. impression that we haven't. Yeah, yeah, we did. We did an episode on the Matrix. Sorry, you haven't. Yeah. Um, but moving on, the I ended up watching Bangers like right after that, uh, and which entailed I'll give like I'll give like three back to back just so we could get I could yeah get we're, the yeah list. we we got to speed this up. We're still on January. <laughs> yeah. So to finish up my January watch for at least my letterbox was 
The House on Netflix, Ooh. Fantasia 2000, and Tick Tick Boom. Oh, Tick Tick Boom. Uh, the House is four stars. Fantasia 2000 is also four stars. Tick Tick Boom is four and a half. Uh, the House, the closest thing I've ever gotten. Before I ever saw Mad God, which I will get to, I really want to talk about Mad God with permission. You could talk eventually. about Mad God. You could talk about anything, man. Um, the House was the closest thing I've ever gotten to a stop, a fully blown stop motion horror film. Uh, Fantasia 2000, a wonderful example at, at its time for mix, a mixture between music and animation and how it conveys storytelling with just those two elements. And Tick Tick Boom for obvious reasons. I mean, come on, Andrew, Andrew Garfield. Look at, look at a baby face. He's beautiful. <laughs> Andrew, I love Andrew Garfield. So we, we did do an episode on Tick Tick Boom, episode 10. Check it out, guys. Uh, we, we, we both, me and Pat, we both loved Tick Tick Boom. Did, uh, we, I know you watched it after we did... Yes, because we because I kind of yelled at you for not watching it. <laughs> <laughs> you almost got an Oscar for Tick Tick Boom. Almost. That was also the. Year. Can I also mention that that was the year for Andrew Garfield? Yeah, he's yeah, been like really. he's been in a lot of shit, man. Yeah, but that's uh, No Way Home uh, is actually pretty much it. He did. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. There was like, uh, what's the woman with the puppets? The woman with the puppets. It sounded the like eyes, the eyes of Tammy Faye. <laughs> oh, the eyes of Tammy Faye. It sounded like you were jerking off there. <laughs> <laughs> I was hitting my knee. <laughs> Live on Fresh Off the Reel. <laughs> season three, baby. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> it's the sex season. <laughs> we, have, we have people jacking it on set. <laughs> Bigger, better, and more banging than ever. <laughs> Sex off the reel. <laughs> Sex off the reel. <laughs> Your only fans account. Uh, all right, let's um, let's see what the 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 rest of the stuff I watched in January that we never covered on the podcast. I did watch uh, this movie called A Few Good Men. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen it. Uh, it's it's the it's the movie with the you can't handle the truth is from that movie. Mm. That's what the movie is called. I keep forgetting what the fuck that the title of the movie is yeah, called. Yeah, it's called A Few Good Men. It's about a. It's about um. Uh, God, it was so long ago. It's about like a, a, this this guy in the army, I think, and the, or and he he's on trial. Tom Cruise is the lawyer, and uh, no, he's not. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise is a lieutenant. I can't remember who the lawyer is, but like it, it's basically a movie about one huge court case, and it's really really good. Uh, I caught it on TV. A lot of these movies that you're going to hear me talk about is because I either went to my grandparents' house or I was eating and I wanted something to watch. So I just turned on the TV and something was on and I ended up catching the whole movie. A Few Good Men was one of them. And a movie I watched right after that was the 1989 Batman movie, which I was watching with my grandmother because she loves the old Batman movies. Kind of crazy. <laughs> I, I love Batman 89, so... Nonna loves Batman. Nonna loves Never Batman. Nonna loves <laughs> Who Batman. Wouldn't? <laughs> Who wouldn't? Yeah, you think was... Nonna would see pa Robert Pattinson? I, th I think know, Nonna I would, think... would enjoy Robert Pattinson. I think she would. Yeah, though, honestly, I think she would. I should make her watch it. But yeah, the 89 Batman movie was great. Like, it has, it has such a good soundtrack. That was like the top, the top thing for me watching the movie was the soundtrack. Danny, that was Danny Elfman. That was great, great soundtrack. I believe when I when I think of the Batman theme, I kind of think of this one, but it's not because of this movie. It's because of the Lego game. <laughs> That's right. Because <laughs> they the Lego game used the Danny Elfman soundtrack for the whole game. Danny Elfman is a great composer. Just period. He's yeah, in, he has a huge repertoire to him. Yeah, he's a very good composer. Uh, another thing we watched. I know we we all watched this together. Was uh, Scott Pilgrim versus the World? Yep, yeah, we, we watched, watched that this. in person, wasn't it? We watched that in person at my house. Yeah, we had a little a little watch party with uh, the rest of the squad. <laughs> yeah, we all we all got together. Um, I think <laughs> you were the only one there who had never seen it, right, Lim? Or did was... not also not see it then? I I can't remember, but I I know I know, I had never seen it. I think she already saw it. I I know there was like one other person. I that had not seen it, but I can't remember who that was right now. Oh, well, yeah, anyway, um, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, we watched uh, Scott Pilgrim. Uh, I love this movie. Not my favorite Edgar Wright movie, um, but I love it to death. Um, I think we were on the topic of Edgar Wright, like the reason why we went ahead and watched Scott Pilgrim, because we, I think, just was during the time where Last Night in Soho was being advertised. 
Yeah, and I think I think I I had just I think I had just watched because uh, we we watched um, um, Shaun of the Dead for the podcast, and we were like, we're gonna watch every Edgar Wright movie, and I think that's why we watched this. Yeah, spoilers for the podcast that eventually we'll be covering <laughs> Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, and uh, yeah, you'll hear more <laughs> of our thoughts on that movie when we get to it. Yeah, and that's when the internet's gonna start hating me because <laughs> I don't like this movie. I I I was I I don't know. Was, I think it was very the jokes felt like they were trying to be jokes. I don't know if that makes any sense. The jokes were made for like its time. Yeah, like, but it's, it's yeah, but its time movie. was 2010. It wasn't that long ago. That's ten years ago. That's more say than that. ten years ago. I would say that. But right now, it's more than ten years ago. Like... <laughs> this movie's this movie's not. Oh my god, this movie's thirteen years old. Okay, well, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> what what else did you watch in January, Pat? Uh, I have a lot of movies in January. I'm gonna spitball them. A uh, speed spitball yeah, so just them. Spitball them, dude. Spitball. Um, but one of them, I'm not gonna spitball. I think we should talk about at a great length for over an hour. Is uh, we all watched Eternals at some point. Let's talk about Eternals. It sucked. Yeah, it I have nothing to say about Eternals. <laughs> um... <laughs> This was the first new IP, I believe, in, a, in the MCU. Like, the, the, fresh, the yes. first like, new introduction to a character. No. Since, like, Ant-Man. I think Shang-Chi came out before Eternals. No. Did yes, it? you know, yes, it did. Shang-Chi uh, came out before Eternals. Okay, well, Shang-Chi's better, so... <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah, the first um... bad new IP. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, it was the first, uh, first terrible IP that they created. <laughs> Who gave a is... shit about the Eternals? Who thought, like, I we need to see the Eternals? Nobody knew who the Eternals was, and everybody was happy for it. I'm gonna be real, I read comic books, and I've seen the movie, and I still don't know what the Eternals are. Also, Pat, Captain Marvel exists, just letting you know. And Black Panther. Those all happened after Ant-Man. And Spider-Man Homecoming, and Doctor Strange. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, Eternals is a movie that exists. I think this... <laughs> is this the first movie? No, Black Black Widow is the first movie of Phase 4, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Well, this is the second well, movie it, of Phase 4, it? and it was not a good second entry. This movie is very boring. Um, I, I don't necessarily think it blends well with the rest of the phase. It kind of sits out. It stands out. Sorry. As like uh, the odd man out in this in the MCU, especially in Phase Four, mm -hmm. which was very um, bad, very very <laughs> uh, different than the other ones. Way to be nice, um. guys. Let's face let's face it, guys. Let's face it, guys. Okay, phase let's, four, let's phase, phase it. Four, yeah, let's phase it, guys. Phase Four was the worst phase. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. Phase Four is the worst phase of the MCU. It has some of the lowest lows of of marvel that i've seen it's it's, it's just oh, terrible. phase five gets better i hope Question that ant, ant man looks really good so we'll I, i'm very impressed with ant man so far i it's but it, we've Wars. always we've always done this we've always done this where we would see the trailer for the next mcu project and like oh that's really good and then we see the film and it's like ah oh. It's like, that's why I, well, that's why I'm not watching the trailers because I, like I didn't see the trailer for for Ant Man. I, I've heard it looks great. I'm not watching it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to go into these movies with no expectations um, because I'm well, tired. Pat, I I think there's a nice quote from the MCU that you'll like, uh, and it's a perfect segue. <laughs> no. um, expect disappointment, and you'll never be disappointed. <laughs> Ooh. And that sums up the MCU perfectly. <laughs> And what's the segue? Yeah. So, um, well, No Way Home is later, but <laughs> we'll, we'll get there when we get there. We'll get there when we get there. But um, yeah, moving on to yeah, February. Aside, yeah, as, no way. I'm not done. I'm not done January. Oh yeah. Like, oh yeah. More. You have your other. Show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, Shut up, Lip. He's not done. As, okay. as Lip said earlier, um, we watched Venom together, the first one. Um, not a podcast episode. We watched this for shits and giggles. This movie's awful, and I love it. This movie is so funny. Unintentionally funny. I love it yeah. so much. And then I watch, aside from podcast stuff, I watch Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace, Skyfall, and Spectre. You might notice a trend. These are for all of the Daniel Craig Bond movies. We watch this in preparation for No Time to Die. Oh, I, I did the same thing in January. I, didn't, I wasn't sure if we were going to mention that. Oh, uh, but yeah, we, we, did, we did do an episode on No Time to Die, if you're interested in hearing our thoughts. In that episode, we also talk about just the Craig Bond movies in general, so yeah. go check out that's that why, uh, That's why we did this, because 
No Time to Die was already out, but we did the episode. Then you, were, yeah, you guys were doing a uh, a binge at some point. We are huge, huge, huge James Bond fans. Yep, and uh, I like these movies for the most part, except you, Spectre. Um, yeah, and, and, and you <laughs> die another Pop day. Uh, die another day. Get the fuck out of here, Madonna. You can leave. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, th- that's my last non-podcast movie. I watched 12, Twelve Angry Men, but that was podcast. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's it for January. Yeah, what a what a good month. <laughs> yeah. The, the, uh, uh, oh wait, there's two two other movies I watched in ja- on January. Passage of Venus and the Musician Monkey. <laughs> Those are the two <laughs> the two earliest movies on Letterboxd. I just watched them. I've because never they heard of Musician Monkey before. <laughs> you never heard of Musician Monkey? I'm dude, sorry, <laughs> dude. We're gonna watch it right now. We're gonna watch it right now, right now, like on, All on right. live, I guess, live right I guess now. The episode's over. <laughs> live right now. We're watching it right now. Musician. Oh, he's actually sharing his screen. Monkey that, sharing his sharing his screen. Hold on. Why? Why? Why is he on YouTube? <laughs> Wait, you can't put this. That's oh, well, why is this on Letterbox? Because it's it's one of the first movies ever made. There you go. That's it. Musician. Monkey. Oh I mean, my god! Okay, well, that's why. That's a moving picture. <laughs> yep. It was the first. An- it's the first animated movie ever made. <laughs> that eighteen seventy eight. You just well, watched I guess it, I dude. Watch that now. Steph, you just watched history. Log I it. gotta log it. <laughs> log it. Log it. What do you say about the first animated film ever? That. <laughs> oh, right. The first animated film. Like ever. right, right, right. What can you really say about the first animated movie ever? And leave it at that. <laughs> Just say the most most cliche thing ever. We guys, we just watched a movie. It was nine seconds long, <laughs> and it's not copyright. Who's gonna copyright strike that? <laughs> Am I gonna show it on on the YouTube video? No, no. I don't know what'll happen if I do. But anyways, let's move on to February. Right. We're already while I log this. Uh, move on to February. One yeah. of you. <laughs> so uh, in February, basically everything I watched was for the podcast so i'm just gonna not mention anything i watched in february besides there was this um documentary i watched called schumacher which is about michael schumacher famous formula one driver a uh, pretty good uh documentary if you're a fan of formula one i would say give it a watch uh it tells a really good like you know just biography of michael schumacher if you're a fan uh his whole family's in the movie too so yeah just check it out uh, speaking of Michael Schumacher, I was kind of on a Cars binge, and I watched Cars on February 7th. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all I watched in February that's not non-podcast related. The rest are all podcast related. I don't know how to segue that. Uh, you guys like Cars? Yeah. You guys like movies? No. I watched a film that has two of those things in different scenes. Uh, in February, the only movie that I've ever logged in Letterbox was La La Land, and ro- and <laughs> I mean, but I also both watched that movie in February. Wait, was it February third? Uh, it did. Wait, hold on, I need to see. I don't think we watched this with him. I think we just it was, it was us two. No, this was February sixteenth. Two, uh, two of our okay. other friends. It was not with. It was okay, not yeah. With Steph. Ste- Steph just coincidentally also watched it in February. Yeah, yeah, we we all watched La La Land together on February third. Oh, I thought that was Ryan for the God podcast. Ryan drives a car, and Emma Stone aspires to be a movie actress. <laughs> Crazy. So that's, a, that's a segue. That's a segue and a half. Uh, the bet the Dang. best movie I watched in February was definitely The Dark Knight. Like that that was awesome. I watched it for the first time, first time in February twenty sixth. That was quite an experience. It was amazing. I'm really I'm. Good. I'm just very surprised that you've never seen it until you had to do it for the uh, for the show. Yes, yeah, but I'm surprised too, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> real, real good, very good, mm-hmm. very good. Now, speaking of a real good superhero movies that we watched in February, um, I watched Spider Man Two because when I'm sad, I watch Spider Man Two. I've watched oh. Spider Man Two a lot. <laughs> Everybody's got their comfort movie. Yeah. I watched but... Spider Man Two, and I've watched. Four other movies that we did not do for the podcast, but this was also a very podcast-filled month. Mm-hmm. Um, if you guys want to jump in on these movies, you can. I watched Spider-Man 2. I watched Tall Girl. Yeah. I, I, Milk I curtain. That's all I gotta say. 
I know you two were there for Tall Girl, but we watched it on Discord in my server. <laughs> Milk Crate, Tall that's Girl. all I gotta say. Milk Crate, Giga Chad. No, I, I, was, I wasn't game. there for Tall Girl. You were not there for Tall Girl. I don't think Steph was either. But Steph's I the wasn't, one. but I watched it on my own time. Yeah. Uh, I watched the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, that's true. Oh, yes, that was something that that's I also watched. That's true, that existed. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Oh my god, it's, it's awful. It is really not good. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it is just surprisingly terrible. I completely forgot that movie existed. <laughs> I did too until I opened my diary. Like, I, I don't remember watching this. But it's, it's I don't bad. remember either. Um, and then I watched uh, The King's Man, the third movie in the Kingsman trilogy. Um, oh. I love the first movie. I think the first movie is great. The second movie is Dog Water. <laughs> uh, this one's okay. <laughs> is this the newest one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It released in 2021. It's the newest one. I don't know if you guys have seen the Kingsman movies. But um, I really recommend the first one. I, I know what they're about, but I, it's it's another movie that I need to see. My uh, my last movie for February was um, Pink Floyd's The Wall. Yeah. Uh, I love Pink Floyd. I'm a big Pink Floyd fan. I love The Wall as an album. Fuck you, Doug Walker. <laughs> uh, yeah, fuck you, Doug Walker. <laughs> That's why I watched that, that movie. Because I watched his... <laughs> I don't know why and what compelled me to watch his review of The Wall. But I did. You and then sad, I watched that movie man. after. You, you bad sad, sad man. man. I said you sad sad man. Oh, I heard you bad sad. <laughs> man. What did, what did you watch in February stuff? So? It was I. The only thing that I remember watching in February was La La Land, as I mentioned before. But that's that's all I've watched. That's all you watched. <laughs> Aside from that, and maybe Tex the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which was dog water. Um, that's all I remember watching at least in February. April is the one is the movie I don't like. <laughs> I like I skipped a uh, nice few months and then went to April. Well, by by the way, guys, uh, we if it wasn't uh, blatantly obvious, we are using Letterbox for this whole episode to track our our progress for watching movies. If you guys want to follow us on Letterbox, you can check it out on our link tree. Our Letterbox accounts are there. Let's move on to March. So in March, I think uh, yes. Yeah, so in March, I started doing this thing. Where when I would edit the show that you are listening to right now, crazy, crazy how life works sometimes. When I would mm -hmm. listen, when I would listen to the edit at the same time, while I was editing all, all the like whatever, we're just editing the show. I would have a movie on in the background. So I watched Cars again. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> in March, I also watched a short film called Interesting Ball. I want to talk about interesting ball because <laughs> there are no balls in this movie. I'll tell you that. I'll, I'm going to give you... Okay, guys, so it was directed by the Daniels, the same people who made Swiss Army Man and my favorite movie ever made, Everything Ever All at Once. Uh, they, they made this short film about these guys trying to get this girl on a beach. They, she's trying. He's trying to... All these guys are trying to get with her, and then they form a mecha human and attack the beach. Huh. I see. Yeah. I, I guess... You should watch it. <laughs> I guess interesting bomb meant, like, oddballs? I like, don't know. They're interesting. Know. Uh, the Daniels I, are, are very weird. They are very weird, weird people. Like... They did... Uh, for fun fact, I know I said this in the Everything Ever All at Once episode, but I'll say it again. They directed the music video for Turn Down for Turn Found for what? Remember that? A weird that's that's such like a like understanding that Daniel's work in film, it's not a odd job for them to take. <laughs> yeah. Uh I also watched uh, I rewatched, I would say Toy Story 2. A uh, great movie, five stars. Love Toy Story 2. It's it's my favorite Toy Story movie by far, I would say. Uh and here's an interesting one. I took, in college, I took a class called Philosophy of Sex. And it was very interesting, very, very interesting class. And uh, one of the movies, well, actually the only movie that our teacher showed us is a documentary called Paris is Burning that I kind of want you guys to watch. <laughs> <laughs> so pa Paris is Burning is a documentary about drag queens in New York in the 90s. And it's it's very tragic. There's like some terrible shit in this in this documentary, but I think it's very very interesting. And it was really cool that they made us. Well, I'd, I'd give it three and a half stars. Like it's it's 
probably my favorite movie that a teacher has made me watch in, like ever. <laughs> I, I had to I had to watch that in a film class actually, and I, it was like a film history class. You watched Paris is Burning? Yes, I have. Oh, you know, amongst like other films that I had to, Paris Paris is Burning it was one of them. I should mention that of... uh, Paris is Burning is in the top, I think, fifteen of Letterboxd's top two hundred fifty best documentaries. It was one of the most interesting films that I watched. Although the bar has been set pretty low by the other films, but like Paris, uh, Paris is Burning was a nice breath of fresh air, especially as for someone that's not huge on documentaries. But it is still like very educational, very like well shot, well narrated. It's a very phenomenal uh, documentary. Highly recommend. Yeah, Pat, have you, do you do you know have you heard about Paris is Burning? I've heard of it, but I haven't seen it. It's it's really good. Very fa- it's a famous documentary. But that's that's uh that's all of my march. That's not I, I'm not I'm not like I I ended up not naming any of the films that we watched for for the show. I just named it whatever I didn't we didn't talk about. Right. Yeah. Because we're already forty minutes in. <laughs> um, I watched uh, Nightmare Alley in March. Oh yeah, I forgot. Nightmare about Alley. That. Nightmare <laughs> Alley. This was nominated for Best Picture the year prior. Why? Uh... Um, it was fine. Like I, I enjoyed it. I don't think it deserved that nomination, but it was fine. Del Toro, also, though. fun fact. Weirdly enough, and I found this out today after a nice phone call. Um, Nightmare, uh, Nightmare Alley was shot here in Canada, in Toronto. What? Okay. Yeah. Like wow. Okay. Yeah, but a lot of movies are filmed in Canada. I, I I never I just never think about that because I think of Hollywood oh everything's filmed in the United States. No, but I thought like for this how the set was how the set looked it had to be somewhere west of America. I was not thinking that it was here in Toronto. I never thought we had acres like that in Toronto. <laughs> Do you mean east? By the way, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I know my west and east. Steph, west of America is Russia. <laughs> it's west. I, I, you mean west of America? I mean west. <laughs> Listen, um, I, 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 moving on. <laughs> yeah. So in in March, I watched uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly. It was a rewatch for me, but we watched it in, in a good friend of ours, K one K one zero K. Why is that not in my March? <laughs> She's gonna hate that I said it that way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in her server, it was her first time seeing it, and we watched it with members of her chat. Uh, I get, I love this movie. It's what it is. My one of my comfort movies. Love Dragon Ball. Um, but moving on um, to an interesting conversation. Because speaking of uh, canceled podcast episodes, uh, I watched Turning Red in March. Oh, did you guys not true. do an episode on that? No, we, we never ended not. up doing. We, we were going to. Yeah, we we were we were actually we were gonna do an episode of Turning Red. That was like one of our, like we we're like for sure we're gonna do it for sure. Um, I like I like this movie. I think I think it's I think it's fine. I think it gets a little a little too much shit on the internet. Um, it's cute. I don't well, like. That's it. the most I could I could say about this uh, about the film. Like it's I, it's I, a nice cute coming of age story. I, I think of the three of us, I like it the most. And and the reason we didn't do it is because Lib didn't enjoy it, so we just didn't. Have yeah, much I thought to say. like I had, I had almost nothing to say about the movie. If I was gonna say anything, it was gonna be the things I didn't like, and I didn't want. A super negative episode, so we just uh, didn't end up doing it. Just gonna throw this out there because um, March was the month I watched all the Best Picture nominees before the Oscars. Um, I don't know if you guys both saw them. I, I think Steph watched some of them. I don't remember. If I watched watched some. some. I did not. So, um, yeah. So I watched uh, Nightmare Alley, like I said previously. Don't Look Up, which I did not enjoy. I did also watch Don't Look Up. It sucked hard. I don't know why it got nominated to begin with. <laughs> yeah, I, I know why it got nominated. I just don't agree with the nomination. It's it's an Oscar bait movie, and it really shows. I watched Drive My Car, which I loved. Um, Still need to watch. I watched uh, King Richard, which was good. Yes, King. I watched, I watched King Richard after the the Oscars, oh, and it was yeah. it was it's really cool. It's a really nice yeah, film. I felt com- yeah, yeah. I, I, it's weird for me to say I felt comfortable. Like, it's a very it, comfortable film. It's a good movie. It's a shame it's not overshadowed by the events at the Oscars that we're not going to talk about. Oh my, oh my god. Okay, wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so... I found a second page. Hold on. He found a second page? No, no, it's not that. Well, I did find a second page, but hold on. 
at the time of recording, the Golden Globes were last night. And Eddie Murphy was on stage. And I don't remember what he was on stage for, but he won an award. I don't remember I don't know what it's for. I, I didn't I didn't watch like I didn't pay attention to the Golden Globes. I just had it on. But I, during his acceptance speech at the very end, he said he said, uh, thank you everybody so much. And remember the one rule, keep Will Smith's wife's name out your fucking mouth. <laughs> That joke is dated. That's, That's a very joke. dated joke. <laughs> he said that last night. He said that. And this was last oh, night at the Golden Eddie Globes. Murphy. Oh, oh yeah. Eddie Murphy. You made a yeah. Coming to America sequel. <laughs> Coda, which won Best Picture, right? Yep. Coda, Coda was good. Uh, Belfast, <laughs> which was, was all right. Mm. And uh, The Power of the Dog, which was, was good. Was alright. Yeah, it it was it was good at best, okay at worst. See, I watched um I watched Coda, and Power of the Dog, and Dune. Those are my only those are the only three movies I actually watched before the Oscars. Power I did not like Power of the Dog. Yeah, all, all three of which I believe we talked about on the podcast, so we're not gonna. Ah, uh, the Oscars, the same year that Amy Schumer came down from the ceiling like a god. In a Spider-Man costume. I, I uh, wish spring, silly string. <laughs> I wish my face was on recording. <laughs> yeah, I mean, fuck. Yeah, I actually. I've I did. never in my life seen Pat devoid of all hope. Yeah, he was. I, 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 I believe we mentioned this on the episode, but we 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 watched you. Know, we watched Oscars together at my place. <laughs> and I, I said it out loud, you know, we haven't seen Amy Schumer in a while. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what she's up to. And then, like fucking clockwork, she comes down in a Spider-Man costume. <laughs> it's just like, okay. Yeah. I love it when okay. instant comma works um, uh, wonderfully. <laughs> Uh, I did. I did discover a second page of my diary. There are three more movies I watched in March. <laughs> Let me just uh, shoot through my because I'm not. I have a couple movies left. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I watched uh, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. This was my first introduction to this the franchise. I watched the anime after that. The movie's good. The show's good. If you like shonen anime, you should go watch it. Um, I watched. Was Fort vs. Ferrari a podcast movie? Yep. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I watched Clickerish Pizza, which I, I really, really enjoyed. I needed to watch And um, this was a podcast episode, but I'm mentioning it anyway because it's funny. We watched The Room. Yeah, and uh, not only did we watch The Room, we watched it drunk. Yeah. No, you guys watched it movies. drunk. <laughs> I had the displeasure of not doing that. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we watched it drunk, and then we recorded it drunker. <laughs> Uh, it was an interesting episode. Go check it out. The room. Drunk. May we talk about licorice pizza for a few seconds? Don't spoil it. Because I find this, I find this film very interesting. I think the two characters are very shitty people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm pretty. Look, okay. I know I just said don't spoil it, because I haven't seen the movie, but I'm. I got that from the trailers, man. <laughs> no, but that's what I just to avoid spoilers without me like, because I can't elaborate, right? Yeah, but like, they, they're yeah, shitty, I don't know. Like, kinda... Isn't it a movie about shitty people? Kinda. Kinda. Yeah. That's, I don't know. That's the thing. Like, it looks like it may be, but then there's other times where, like, oh, maybe they'll finally learn their lesson. I don't know. They're, they're movie characters. They never learn their lesson. <laughs> <laughs> there's no more of the story lip to you? Never. <laughs> the other three movies I watched in March are just the throwaways. I watched Monsters, Inc. and Wally while I was editing. For, uh, this the show, but I also watched a documentary called The Last Blockbuster, which is about the last blockbuster. Uh, we should Whoa. totally take a road trip there, guys. <laughs> Godspeed, The Last Blockbuster. Godspeed. Rest in peace, Blockbuster. Uh, you didn't make it to Canada, but we hardly knew ye. <laughs> you had your sister company, you had Videotron. Yeah, you had Videotron. Rest in peace, He's Videotron. We hardly knew ye. <laughs> Uh, you said you didn't have anything logged for March, right, Steph? No, I skipped March. <laughs> All right, well, let's move on to April. You said you have April, right? I do have one April. Well, my my April... Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I know what it is. There's one movie we definitely watched together in April. Yeah. 
<laughs> so, okay, in April, my April is completely full. Like, I had a lot of stuff for April. Because uh, not only did I watch a bunch of movies while editing this show, but also just, it was just a good month for movies, man. And by good, I mean Sharknado and Verdemic. <laughs> uh, not true. You got one really, got one really interesting movie. Is it, don't you have like Pat's favorite movie on there? Yeah, well, I have my favorite movie on there. My favorite movie I've ever seen in my own entire life. Yeah, but nobody cares about your favorite movie. On, so, okay. on April twelfth, yeah, we don't we don't care about your favorite. We only care about the fact that we watch Sonic. <laughs> on April, oh, I wasn't 12th, referring to that. <laughs> we watched know, everything, you know. everywhere, all at once, and it changed yeah. my life. <laughs> uh, fantastic fucking movie. What a, what a uh, Lib and I have talked about it at length, and um, I, I'm very happy we decided to see this on a whim. God, it's such a good movie. It won. Best uh best feature uh last night at the game at the game awards at the golden the game Globes. awards <laughs> not a video game podcast hey first one of the season nice <laughs> at the the golden globes won best picture also what's the name of the actor I can't pronounce it K K Hui Kwan I'm sorry I'm so sorry uh he won best supporting actor last night at the golden globes and his acceptance speech is is amazing is very yeah, very I, I, moving. I, uh... I teared up. Yeah, uh, yeah. It was, it was a. I, I saw it live. It was, it was great. Like you guys should, should like just look up that acceptance speech, and you should watch other movies that he's in, because like Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom was really good, and The Goonies is a old, the classic, classic movie. I love The Goonies. I wasn't even aware that he was in The Goonies. It came as a huge shock of like just his repertoire. It's amazing. It's re it's really because yeah, just... he's stacked. It's really just those three movies, which is he he crazy has really good me. movies under his belt. It's just he hasn't acted in, in a very very long time. Like it it was Temple of Doom and the Goonies, and it was just that for forever. And then all of a sudden, plop, he's in everything ever all at once, and it's it's amazing. He like, makes his comeback. He makes his his grand return. Like, very wow. phenomenal film. Like, if this film does not get at least one Oscar nomination, and just like I don't care if it's the costume department, I don't care if it's the video editing department, it has to get nominated for one thing. If it's not, the Oscars doesn't have a hair on their ass. Yeah, seriously, they need like it, it, this needs to win Best Picture in my eyes. There's no well, other. Also, that's movie a Danny DeVito quote on Twitter. <laughs> in, in my in my eyes, there's no other movie that even comes close. It's so good. It's so, if for some reason you guys listening to this haven't seen everything everywhere all at once, drop what you're doing. I'm pretty sure it's on Amazon Prime Video. Go you watch it. DVD. It's well, on DVD. Yeah, buy it on DVD. Buy go if Before it's the Daniels. Do do whatever, man. Whatever you can to watch it, watch it, man. It'll change your life uh, and we're not joking we're not this is not hyperbole this is i mean it's we're genuinely speaking this is a wonderful wonderful film to just watch and just endure this movie this movie sure does give you everything everywhere all at once that's a quote from that's that's from steph's review that's, that's my a quote review from steph's review <laughs> Uh, other movies I watched in April include Coda, which was great. Um, I watched The Power of the Dog, which we already talked about. I didn't really like. Um, Flush Away, Ratatouille, uh, you know, Toy Story One, Kung Fu Panda Two, just Toy Story Three. What else? Uh, the Emperor's New Groove. Those are all movies I watched for the, while editing. Uh, we also we started this thing in April called Shitty Movie Week. A shitty movie day, which happened every week, which we haven't continued. We should bring that back up. But uh, oh, yeah, that was this was the beginning. <laughs> yeah, the movie we used to kick it off is was is I'm pretty sure the movie the one movie that Steph has in April, which is Birdemic: Shock and Terror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did not give it any stars. I did not give it a heart. What was my review for it? Let's take a look. It's a video. It's a it's, YouTube it's, it's video. It's a YouTube clip. What is it? <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't click on it. I'm recording. What is it? <laughs> it's just a bird with holding two Glocks. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, um, I know Pat's is, I think it's a clip for, uh, uh in, in Iron Man 2, 
when the guy goes, I want, I my, want board. my board. I want, <laughs> I want my board. I want my board. <laughs> yeah, and um... and my, mine is, um, my clip is, is, I'm pretty sure, I can't click on it to double check, but I'm pretty sure it's the clip of JonTron saying, I guess you can say it's about birds. <laughs> mm-hmm. I also watched uh, Sharknado. Yep, that was also part of that was also part of uh, shitty movies. Yeah, poop, 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 scoop night, poop, scoop night. <laughs> That's what we're calling it now. <laughs> we're calling it poop, scoop night. Where the hell did you pull that one out of poop, scoop night? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm, rena- I'm renaming the list right now to poop, scoop night. <laughs> yeah. And while um, I do that, Pat, talk about your April movies. I, I watched a couple films. I watched uh, Sonic the Hedgehog two twice. Oh yeah, oh, this yes. a podcast I episode. Should, I, I should, but I want to. We watch it together. Right. We watch it together. Yes, I, I bring it up because watch. I watched it twice. I love this movie. This was this was the closest thing I, I you would ever get to see of a film adaptation being closely related to the games. It's it, it, it is the better one of the better video game movies, and I'm excited to see the next one. Which is also it's. It's its profit, but also its downfall at the same time. But we'll see. We'll see where that goes. If you want to hear more, uh, we did a podcast episode. Yep. Um, yeah, I watch uh, the in between. I have this weird thing with watching Joey King movies. That's true. I don't think I've liked a single one of them. <laughs> uh, in our really old episode, in our uh, uh, what we watched in, I can't remember which one, but we talked about the kissing booth. And we were just yep. like, Pat, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know what's what... Pat's infatuation with just very shitty Netflix movies, but he's... He had Whenever a binge, one comes out, he just watches it. <laughs> yeah, just I, watches I love it. I love shitty Netflix rom-coms. I cannot get enough of them. <laughs> so I watched The In-Between starring Joey King. It sucks. <laughs> mm. um, I watched The Breakfast Club. I don't remember if this was for the podcast or not. It was not. Well, I watched your Breakfast Club. I love this movie. Moving <laughs> on. Um, I, I I feel like if you were to say anything else about it, you would get so much hate. <laughs> it's a fantastic movie. Um, anyway. No, it's not. Anyway. Uh, and then something... Okay, so I don't know why I logged this. I shouldn't have logged this because it was a 10-minute Disney Plus special. It's called The Simpsons When Billy Met Lisa. <laughs> oh, yeah. I watched, oh, it. Right. I watched that, too. I watched that, was too. Was it a Christmas special or no, just no, a regular... No, Disney? it's, no, it's uh, Billy Eilish... Meets Lisa. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they have a song. Yeah. An instrumental, and that's it. Uh, okay. The top comment on Letterboxd for when Billy met Lisa is, Soon I will die. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> All that's right. What, okay, great special, I suppose. Um, then I watched uh, the Uncharted movie. Again, I don't remember if this is for the podcast. It was I not. It was. <laughs> uh, not good. Uh, like it's it is perfectly average. Tom, what the fuck? Okay, I, I watched... want I want to rant about the Uncharted movie. <laughs> go oh, go you, right have, you have every right out of all. All of right, us. I'm gonna set myself a a two minute timer because if I don't, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, okay. here we go. All right, two minute timer setting on my phone right now. Okay, so Uncharted is like one of my favorite video game franchises ever. Not a video game podcast, but moving on. They fucking butchered this, okay? Like this this movie is terrible. And it's not it's not like, oh, it's boring, it's not it's not as good as the games, or it's not adapting the games well enough. No. They just straight up don't understand what what makes Uncharted so good. They they fucking had Tom Holland, this child, like Acting as if he's 40 years old and pretending like he knows about pop culture and shit. That's not what Uncharted is about. And they got the, like, like Mark Wahlberg, the least sully person I could think of. Why couldn't you just get Nolan North? He is an actual actor, and uh, like, like he, he, they use him. He's a cameo in the movie. It's like, it's like casting fucking Mario as Chris Pratt. Oh wait, 
Oh, that happened. You want to know why it happened? Because they, they think that having someone's face on a poster is going to sell tickets. And yeah, I guess it, it's it, in some way it does. But hey, people who know Uncharted are going to look at Tom and be like, hashtag not my Drake, because that's what I did. That's not my Drake. My Drake is Nolan North. Nolan North boycott. We got to get fucking Sony to remake this movie. Put Nolan North in it instead of that stupid fucking cameo is just like oh i've been through that on the fucking beach that's not that's <laughs> not fucking uncharted okay uncharted is about two treasure hunters living their lives and being in danger it's not about two fuckers looking for a stupid treasure that one person told them about and being like oh hey remember this joke oh <laughs> the, the, the 90s were cool right that's not that's not uncharted end of rant Anyway, I watched it charted and it was it was fine. Um not great. <laughs> uh I watched Joker. I don't remember why I watched Joker again, but I watched Joker again. <laughs> I was gonna say they're not come out in 2018. <laughs> yeah, 2019. And my last movie for April. I believe we watched this in my server. Yeah, I watched The Emperor's New Groove. What a what a great film. I like that That's movie. The... It is it is uh it is good. That's a film that I'm sort of interested in to see what a live action remake would be. Give it time, they'll do it. I forgot to mention <laughs> that I watched Legally Blonde. <laughs> that's All right, a, I that's guess it. That's, 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 it. A, that's enough out of Legally Blonde, I suppose. I that's watched it. a lot of shit in May. Yeah, I watched a lot of shit. We gotta speed... Okay, we gotta spitball yeah. this. Okay, spitballing May. I, I only have one because we already talked about every everything everywhere all at once because I watched that after you guys did the podcast. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I want to point out one that I think we've all watched. The Bad Guys. Yeah, we all yep. watched The Bad Guys together. Very good. Uh, looks like DreamWorks is going to stick with this animation style because they used it. They used the same animation style in the new Puss in Boots movie, which I haven't yeah. seen yet, but these two guys have seen it. And apparently it's really, really, really good. It knows that DreamWorks is evolving and willing to try new things, new ways of animating. I think like at some point, like if they continue using the same frame rates that they've used with the bad guys and Puss in Boots, for a, like it'll be great for a good period of time. But I feel like at some point it'll be like okay, change it up a bit. So if they keep doing this, because like at DreamWorks is also very well known to like changing things up. Although sometimes they're not very successful at it, but they are. They do end up changing things up. So I feel like this like will be like a nice great great step forward in their process of. All right, time to try a rhythm. Let's let's continue this rhythm and try to add on to that. It's a nice base. I really like this, and I I can't wait to see what they're gonna do for uh, for the next DreamWorks movies. They're gonna do a Boss Baby movie in this animation style. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. We're all gonna watch it. Gonna We're gonna see 15 frames per second. Alec Baldwin <laughs> as a child. Yeah, I uh, I think the bad guys is really good. I was pleasantly surprised. Um, it's fantastic. If you haven't seen it, please do. This was a scrapped podcast episode. Yep, it was. <laughs> um, I don't. I think. I think we just didn't do it because by the time we we would have had time to record it, we just like it was too late. So we, mm -hmm. we moved on, right? But uh, I think it's been great. Let's go see it. Yeah, it's one of Lib's favorite types of movies. It's a kind of heist movie. <laughs> yeah, look, I love heist movies. Heist movies are like one of my favorites. Does that mean, like, does that mean you kind stuff. of like this one because it's kind of a heist movie? I mean, I gave it four stars. <laughs> yeah, it is a nice heist four, movie. Nice four stars. Gave it a nice heart. A little rewatch because I watched it like three times. I would have given it five stars if it didn't have a twist villain. I didn't like the villain. The villain sucked. <laughs> Yeah, the villain's kind of obvious too. The thing is, like, the villain was was supposed to be a little bit more threatening. I saw concept art on like what the original design for the villain was supposed to be, and it was a lot more menacing than. Okay, spoiler: if you guys haven't seen the bad guys, those of you at home, stop this spot, stop the episode now, and go watch it. <laughs> Three, two, one. The little stupid gerbil, it's tiny, he just ruffles his hair a little bit and turns around. And he's like, I'm evil now. I'm going to kill you. That's not how it's, he it's talks. It's it's the but... Toby Maguire <laughs> Spider-Man three style. He angles his hair, and now he's. I evil. was about to say it's it's the Toby <laughs> Maguire becoming evil. It was never supposed to be that. He was supposed to be bigger. He was supposed to be a lot more scruffy, a lot more menacing. Uh, but I guess like they scrapped it because this is also a film made for kids. 
the uh, uh one of well, the top enough, comments suppose. one of the top comments on letterbox for this one is the furification of oceans 11 parentheses 2001 <laughs> <laughs> True. Also, yeah. I forgot that all of us just wrote as our comments Apple Bottom G. <laughs> oh yeah, we all just wrote Apple Bottom. I don't know why. I don't remember what the joke was. We all just wrote Apple Bottom G. <laughs> boots with the fur. I don't um, remember. But that's that's my May. <laughs> uh, well, my May is uh, pretty chock full here. <laughs> all right, so here here we go. Um, we at the beginning of May, like the first day of May. We watched, uh, I think it was me and Pat and some other people, we watched the Justice League Flashpoint Paradox. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, that was uh, okay. I mean, I gave it three stars. I don't like the animation. It looks really weird. Uh, it but, does. But the, the rest of the movie is pretty good. I really like the... Why did they draw their torsos way too big for their heads? Man, I just like it's not just it's the faces, man. Their heads are huge, but the faces are tiny. <laughs> yeah, that, no, that's my point. Why did they make their torsos way too big and their heads way too small? <laughs> yeah, like uh, it was a good story. I really like Batman in this in this movie. He's very cool. He is a key character in this film. Yeah. Well, it's a DC movie, right? So of course, Batman's a key character. This is uh, this is where the famous joke of uh, "It was me, Barry." Yeah, you know, it's it from, this came movie. from this movie, and I think that's why we watched it. <laughs> yeah, probably. I feel like it was either that or just just me being me. I I harassed you to watch it. It it was probably a mixture of that and just you you being like this is from the this is the movie where he goes it was me Barry. <laughs> uh, we also watched. I know, like I don't remember why we did this, um, because it wasn't on May the fourth. But me and Pat rewatched the first Star Wars movie, but it wasn't on the fourth. <laughs> Yeah, we did do that. Yeah, uh, every, every year it's requirement. You know, it doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter what you do. On May the fourth, you have to watch the very first Star Wars movie. And if you could find the un, like if you could find the original cut, you have to watch that one. Okay, this is a requirement. I'm telling you all right now, so don't forget it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a classic. What can you really say that hasn't been said already about Star Wars? That's the most cliche thing I could even think about to say, but really. I'm, it's, it's true like it's star wars there's not really anything you could say about it that's new <laughs> i don't know do you have anything to add not to star wars <laughs> um interesting okay so <laughs> uh uh i watched for the first time because a bunch of people forced me to we watched mean girls uh oh, yeah yeah that was that was fun i think uh <laughs> <laughs> That is the thing we did. I forgot we watched Mean Girls. Yeah, we watched Mean Girls. Uh, I had. There's a lot of people that was I it know. On, it, that wasn't Mean Girls Day, was it? No, uh, Mean Girls Day is in October, isn't it? Yeah, that was that was like yeah, a couple of months before Mean Girls Day. Yeah, uh, and, and we watched it uh, May 10th. But anyways, I don't think the the date mattered at all. But we just wanted to watch Mean Girls. But yeah, I gave it two stars. Like I I I know a lot of people who say Mean Girls is like the funniest movie they've ever seen. I just don't get it, but I'm just gonna leave it at that because I really I, I don't have anything else to say. I just don't get it. I don't know. Maybe it, maybe nah, I'm I'm funny. just not a girl. I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I, I I think Mean Girls for as a movie is dated for its time. Like it was made for that specific era. Yeah, 2004. What a year. <laughs> mm. Lindsay Lohan. What a what a what a what an actress. <laughs> She is, is she the one? Uh, is she the one that it's she's in uh, Hunger Games, right? No, that's someone else. Sorry. Oh, that's Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> that's Jennifer Lawrence. Lindsay Lohan's the one in uh, in Scary Movie, <laughs> and the uh, Freaky Friday. That's her, right? She did Freaky Friday with Jamie Lee Curtis. What? Oh, thanks. Let me check. Yeah. Let me check. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm right. Yes. Good. <laughs> uh, what? As if somebody was gonna shoot you if you did. She didn't. was in the Parent Trap. Well, I haven't seen the Paratrap, so... I forgot that Lindsay Lohan has, like, a pretty good repertoire. Well, anyways, uh, moving on for May. Uh, what What's here that was not... Oh, I'm, I'm not done in May. I yeah, I know. No, I'm, I'm not done in May. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so we watched Velocipaster. That was yep. great. So oh, was yeah, we of, watched Velocipaster. This is part of Poop Shoot Night. <laughs> the part, part of Poop Shoot Night. Uh, I watched... <laughs> I watched uh, Wish Dragon, which was not bad. Honestly, it was pretty good. I liked Wish yeah, Dragon a lot. This is a, that's a movie we started watching together, then I left. Yeah, then you left, and I finished it's it without Aladdin. you. It's just Aladdin. 
No, it's, it's not. Still no, it's again. not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. People need to stop saying that. It's not just Aladdin. The okay? formula is exactly like Aladdin. Dude, any it, 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 by that logic, any movie with a genie in it is just Aladdin. No, no, exactly. I'm you get it. Even you the understand. same steps in terms of the story. <laughs> no, this is completely different from Aladdin, guys. You guys need to watch it. It is really funny. I really like the dragon. I really like the message at the end. It's great. Very good. Very good. It's not Aladdin. Uh, we also watched Morbius. That's cool. Uh, I I watched. Moving this, on from that. <laughs> yeah, moving on. This is around the time where I started watching a lot of Top Gear again uh it comes in waves so i watched like the burma special and the patagonia special but we're not going to go on that those are great specials though if you like top gear watch watch all the top gear specials they're really funny we watched the room again don't know why uh we watched the uh, chip and dale rescue rangers which was a fun movie uh i liked scrapped it podcast episode yeah the, another scrapped podcast episode i don't know why we scrapped it because it was all like i don't know uh, but but it was it's it was fun. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I, I I thought it was fine. I would watch it again. Sora is in it. <laughs> uh, right. Sora's hair is in it. Oh, the Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. Yeah, yeah. Movie. Uh, we I watched Madagascar Two: Escape to Africa. Good movie. Uh, I watched the Family Guy Star Wars movies, and that's all the. <laughs> I was just gonna not talk about that <laughs> but uh, yeah those are all the non-podcast movies that i watched i watched a lot oh oh yeah venom let there be carnage but i, I uh, watched we watched that together lot. in in cinema yeah we watched that together not in cinema yeah at home at home steph and i watched it together in, in the cinema <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah um i watched uh everything i watched senior year another shitty netflix rom-com <laughs> there's a trend here <laughs> this one is starring uh, rebel, rebel wilson this movie sucks <laughs> there'll be more netflix rom-coms sprinkled out throughout the year a common trend between all of them is gonna be it kind of sucked <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know what's with you. I don't know how the shitty rom coms attract you. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but I love them. I, I eat that shit up. <laughs> keep them coming, uh, Netflix. Keep them coming. Keep, keep them coming. Watching. There's one person keep that's gonna watch them. Me. I will watch them. <laughs> you, know, you know, you know, it's like they, like a, a shitty movie will come out that if people are like, "Who asked for this?" It's me. It's always <laughs> me. it's me every time. Um, I watched Top Gun Maverick. Um, so oh, not yeah. a scrapped podcast episode, but a suggested podcast episode that we just didn't do because Lib hasn't seen it. I have seen it. Well, I got the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, we watched it together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but at the time. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking love this movie. It is in my top whatever list. Five out of five. This movie is amazing. And, uh, yeah, that, that's all I have for, for me. Steph, do you have anything else for me? Nope. <laughs> May, what a month. <laughs> what a month. <laughs> gonna be May. It's but I am excited May. for what we watched together in July. I'm June. very happy that we did this. Well, June is next. I guess you skipped June too. <laughs> yeah, I skipped June. Uh, so in well, June... Uh, you started with rubber. Yeah, we. Oh, I started with Turning Red. Oh, uh, okay. Um, yeah, so that's when I watched Turning Red. But then we watched Rubber, uh, part of uh, Scoopy Poopy. But I think that's my favorite Scoopy Poopy movie we've seen so far. Look, I yeah, I Robert's love great. Rubber. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I love. See, here's the thing about Rubber. Okay, Rubber is a terrible movie. But the thing is, it's trying to be a terrible movie. The whole point of the movie is that's like Seinfeld. It's a movie where everything happens for no reason. A movie about nothing. It's that's it. It's it's a movie about and and it achieves what it's trying to do. But as a movie, it's fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it like it it portray it comes off as a movie that's like oh it's it's supposed to be philosophical. It's supposed to make you think about life and the, the universe and blah 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 blah. Yeah, no. <laughs> but it's just a tire rolling through the desert, psychically killing people. That's it. <laughs> That's it. There's no like undertone. There's no secret message. It's just that. 
And I, I think it does that very well. <laughs> Everything happens for no reason. What do you what do you want to add to this? <laughs> to rubber. Rubber is fucking amazing. It's it's such a fun movie to watch. <laughs> um, I just want to I want to say this. Uh so okay, I don't know if this is the I'm pretty sure this is the first time we mentioned this person on the podcast. So on Letterboxd, there is a reviewer who is vegan. And uh, this vegan reviewer uh, pretty much watches like she, like it's her job. She's a, she's a uh a, 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 a she's a journalist, that's what they're called. She she's a gonna call she's her, a gamer. We're gonna see a gaming say? journalist, weren't you? Yeah, I thought is she a gamer? No, I, was, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna say gamer. <laughs> she was like she's a, her job is being a gamer. <laughs> uh, she she's a, a film journalist and she gave the she rates movies very, very, very strictly, as a journalist should. But sometimes she's a bit too strict, okay? I don't want to out this person's name, but she does have, like, 2 million followers on Letterboxd. So you probably, if you use Letterboxd, you know about this person. But <laughs> she rated this movie three and a half. Huh. Three and a half. And there's a there's a few non-vegan type things in this film as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every time she makes a review, she she puts like a vegan warning and then a vegan prose at the bottom. It's hilarious. You guys should follow her. And also, she just makes good reviews in general. Like she she's very yeah. She she's funny. She's, she's a she's master funny. of the craft, funny. honestly. <laughs> She's a master of criticism, I suppose. I mean, she, that's her job. She's a journalist. So, like, she's a master yeah. of what she does. Props to her. She has to watch like twenty movies <laughs> every day. <laughs> hey, if it's your job, then what are you gonna do, right? Um, another thing we watched was a movie that our friend Nat made us watch. R.I.P.D. Nat we made you on, watch that. Yeah. Before we get on to R.I.P.D., can I can I segue? Can I can I interrupt and segue into it? What? Because. The reason we watched Star APD is because I was on Discord with Nat, and I was watching the Spy Next Door, the the, the, the Jackie Chan movie. Yeah. Okay. And when that movie ended, I'm like, wow, I want to watch another another movie like this. A very vague description. And that's like, you should watch R.I.P.D. So I put it on. <laughs> and that's when Lib joined. Yeah, I caught I caught the very end of of the spy next door, and then we watched R.I.P.D. And man, and, um, it sure was before. A movie. Um, just to throw it in there, but before Spy Next Door, I, we watched Top Gun together. But yeah, mm -hmm. the, the original. Uh, the top comment on R.I.P.D. on Letterbox is I still haven't seen Seven Samurai. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> hey, That's you all I want to say. About Neither have I. Yeah, same. Painfully below average. Uh, this, this movie got a sequel. I want to. I want to point yeah. that out. Yeah, it did this year. Well, this year, yeah, last I, year, it's 20, 2022. Jesus Christ! Last year, it got a fucking sequel. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know who was the motivation behind it, but it ended up getting a sequel. Uh, and it lost money. <laughs> yeah, it totally did. <laughs> uh, then we watched Zootopia, but that was for the podcast. Uh, I rewatched Phineas and Ferb across the second dimension, uh, which is a film from my childhood. Uh, interestingly, Phineas and Ferb themselves are not from my childhood, only specifically this movie, because I didn't have, we didn't have Disney Channel growing up, well here in Canada it was called Family Channel growing up, and when I wanted to watch it, I went to the local video store and I said, do you have Phineas and Ferb? And they said yes, and they gave me this, and I thought this was the whole thing, I thought this was Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> oh my friend. <laughs> I only found out literally like four years ago that Phineas and Ferb was an actual TV show. <laughs> like it, 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 I was really clueless about anything on Disney, Disney Channel, Disney XD, whatever. Like I, I only watched Gravity Falls like three years ago, but it's great. You guys should all watch Gravity Falls. It's fucking good. And Wander Over Yonder, very good. All great shows. I miss I miss Wander Wander Over Yonder. It got cancelled way too soon. Yeah. Same with uh, Gravity Falls. Uh but Gravity Falls had a fantastic ending. Wander Over yeah, Yonder they, just sort of left it. They had they had a good ending. Like the the ending of Gravity Falls kinda of was like well the last season of Gravity Falls really fell abrupt because it was clear that they had more stuff planned, but you know, they just couldn't do it. 
Uh, but anyways, um, sad stories. Let's move mm-hmm. on to Bon Cop, Bad Cop. <laughs> uh, I forgot to wanted... watch two French films. A movie I wanted to watch with Lib, but I was not there for that. I was there for I the watched... next French movie. <laughs> there's there's two Bon Cop, Bad Cop movies. I watched both of them, and they are the best, so far, the best Francophone fun films I've ever seen in my life. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, okay, yeah. So, uh, guys, let's, uh, we're about to educate you on Quebec culture. So, in June, in Quebec, uh, we celebrate a holiday called uh, Saint-Jean-Baptiste. <laughs> and why uh, did you say it like that because it's a quebec way yeah uh so so we, we have a we have this thing called saint jean baptiste and uh you know it's basically just i think it was something that happened in quebec i don't really know <laughs> <laughs> but now it's a day and everybody gets a day off on that day and it's just like hey bon saint jean tout le monde so we're like, let's watch a Quebecois movie, and it was like the whole week, like just that, the whole week of Saint Jean Baptiste, we watched Quebecois movies, and we started with Bon Cop, Bad Cop, because it's just the classic. You know, if you're from Montreal, chances are a hundred percent, like not even chances are, one hundred percent, you've seen this movie, and it's either you saw it on your own volition or a teacher showed it to you. The first, the, the second one is what happened to me. <laughs> or if you lived, if you lived somewhere in Quebec, you must have seen it on billboards because they advertised the absolute shit out of this movie. Yeah, I remember. I remember as I was think it was like transition between um, kid to teenager where I saw these on billboards, and it's been and those two main characters that have been staring me in the face every time I went to my nonna's house. Every time. And I had no idea what this movie until I finally, as an adult, I went, it's time. It's time to watch this movie. <laughs> and I watched the movie, and it turned out to be very good. <laughs> I really like I, it. I, I, uh, I heard it's great. I uh, want to watch it. But, it's uh, like I, fucking, dude, I, it's uh, like fucking sing, like, um, St. Patrick's Day, like, something happened in Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, you know, if, if, if you want, like, something funny, it, there is, it's not all in French, there are English parts, but it's a French cop with an English cop, you know, you gotta know a bit of French, but if, if you wanna have a good time, you should watch, uh, you should watch Bad Cop, Post Cop, I mean, Bon Cop, Bad Cop. Shut up. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> uh, I'm not. Yeah, I wasn't there for that, but I was there for Crazy, another yeah. French movie we watched. This one's 100% in French, so if you don't know French, don't fuck. <laughs> yeah, subtitles. Uh, this movie's subtitles. real good. I, I enjoyed it a lot. This movie was fantastic. Like uh, it, it was a very pleasant surprise. A uh, very good movie. I cannot, for the life of me, tell you what it's about. <laughs> Uh, this is the same a... person that said, "If you don't know French, too bad." <laughs> it's a I don't want to call it a coming of age story, but it's a, it's just a story about a, a boy coming to terms with his sexuality and his relationship with his father yeah. and his family life and his siblings and stuff. It, like it, I guess it's kind of a coming of age story, but also like it has some other themes thrown in there. It's it's really good. I would recommend it if you don't mind watching French movies. It's great. I mean, uh, uh, most of the reason why I, I don't know pretty much anything that happened in this movie is because at the same time I was playing Sea of Thieves. <laughs> I remember that, like, distinctly. <laughs> uh, but that movie made me cry because it played Space Oddity. And Space Oddity always, without fail, makes me cry. But moving on, the last uh, French movie that we watched for St. Jean Baptiste was Starbuck. Uh, Pat, were you there when we watched Starbuck? Not there for Starbuck either. Starbuck is really, really good. I gave it five stars. This is one of the best movies I've ever seen, honestly. I love it. Uh, there, there is a, an English version of this movie called Delivery Man, starring... Uh, oh, well, who was it? Chris Pratt is in it, but he's not like the the lead uh vince vaughn vince vaughn and chris pratt are in the english version called delivery man uh and but in starbuck no it's patrick ward you know you know patrick ward the name sounds very familiar he's the he's the french cop in bon cop bad cop <laughs> yep there it is yeah there you go and he's also on billboards everywhere on montreal <laughs> like everywhere <laughs> i see i think, him I think he's time. one of the the top actors in the oh yeah he's he's like he's like quebec's favorite actor or something like that but uh 
Yeah, you know, very good movie. Uh, if you if I would recommend any French movie to anybody, it's Starbuck. I I, I love that movie. You guys should check it out if you haven't seen it. I uh, need to see Starbuck. Yeah. Uh, so what else did we watch in June? We finished Obi Wan Kenobi. Uh, at the time I gave it three and a half, but I think I would give it something lower now. It is. Uh, Kenobi. Same year. Yeah, Obi Wan Kenobi. What would you give it? Hello. <laughs> Are you, oh, did, right. you, did you die? At least I you know, I, to the my, only uh, other person who has seen the series. My uh, my brain died. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would also give a lower score. Um, I think I think Kenobi's fine. Yeah, I don't I don't hate it, but um, it definitely has not aged. Uh, I, I, well, which is weird because it, it, it's, it's not that old, right? Like it came out last year. Um, but I feel like time has kind of not been kind to it in general. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, for for the rest of June, it's mostly all um, podcast stuff, except for Lightyear, which we're going to touch on here because this was a uh, this this was something interesting that happened because I when we watched Lightyear, I gave it four stars, and then when we were do when we recorded the episode for Lightyear. We, uh, I, I think I was like, yeah, maybe I'll lower it to like three stars, but now it's kind of gone a bit up for me because like the more time has passed, I actually like it a bit more now. I don't know what it is. Like I, 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 I felt the need to rewatch it again, but it's, I just keep going. I just keep coming back to it in my mind. I really like Lightyear. I don't know why. I also want to point out that this is also another really cool example of an animation company going forward because I like to think that Pixar is as much as Pixar is with Disney and Disney bought Pixar. I consider Pixar its own little animation studio, and to see how far Pixar has come from when they did the first Toy Story, you see that evolution, and I think they're getting closer and closer to being able to do humans. Like this is. This is the best looking Pixar movie ever made. It's it's absolutely beautiful, and I can I, I can only imagine what they're gonna do with Elemental. Yeah, I was just about to bring up Elemental. I can't wait for Elemental. That's gonna be so 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 good. I can, just just looking at that trailer, I just I, it's oozing, it's oozing, yeah. oozing creativity. Sorry, correction from Soul. I forgot that Soul existed. <laughs> from soul <laughs> they started like really touching up on their human uh their human design i i it's it looking absolutely amazing yeah i don't know what program they're using now i don't maybe it's the same program that they fucking used in the 90s really the, yeah, in the, i don't know maybe they evolved it probably but like <laughs> I don't well, know. yeah you know the same one that they allow doctors to visualize basic <laughs> jesus christ yeah I don't know, maybe they're using NASA computers to animate. <laughs> Man, uh, Disney has the budget. They could give them all the technology they need. Uh, Pat, um, did you have anything to add to Lightyear? Uh, go watch the episode. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean like, has anything changed? <laughs> Not really, no. Uh, my opinion hasn't really changed Lightyear. I think it's fine. Uh, <laughs> we Did we do an episode of Top Gun Maverick? This I actually don't remember. No. No, because I this might have been a scrapped episode. Oh no, no, we said it before. Yeah, it was a. Yeah, we said it before. Oh yeah, my god, did. that's right. We did a double feature that day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we watched Lightyear yeah. and Top Gun Maverick. And Tom, I we fell were... asleep in the theater. <laughs> yeah, he fell. He fell asleep watching <laughs> Top Gun. How do you fall asleep watching and the it wasn't loudest even like, movie? Okay, Top Gun. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Top Gun Maverick has to without spoiling it has very few moments where there's actually not like loud booming noises especially when we went to an IMAX theater there's very few times that we'd hear actual like l- like l- no sorry very few times we would actually hear like piss quiet <laughs> and all of a sudden like I, mi- I i forgot what time we went to the movie theater but it was like some around uh, somewhere around 10 that i we went into the theater halfway through the movie as planes are fucking flying at each other causing actual sonic booms i start gnawing off and then Pat looks at me, hits me on the shoulder, and then tells me to look at the screen. <laughs> yeah, that's... No. How do you fall asleep watching that? Anyways, moving on. I watched All Land again, because as you do. <laughs> and uh, I watched Superman Returns. I don't know why. Um... Oh yeah, oh yeah, I remember why. Yeah, yeah okay, because I just looked at my review for it. It was my it was my parents' wedding anniversary, and they put it on because they really liked this movie. 
Unfortunately, I didn't. It's not good. <laughs> it's not a good movie. <laughs> what a twisted turn of events. <laughs> I did I did not enjoy watching Superman Returns, a sequel for a movie that I did not watch. <laughs> yeah. All right. What I think that's that's all my um that's all my June. June was a full year. Year. Full uh, year? Full, full month. June. I mean, 2022 was a big month. We're only in fucking June. We're an hour 30 minutes in this episode. <laughs> even before, before we even started the episode, I started taking a look at my list and seeing how small. And I took a look at like Lib's list and Pat's list and see how many movies there were. And in my mind, I'm looking at this going, oh, it's, it's been a short fucking year. Now listing every movie one off. And remembering some of them myself because I don't use a lot of books. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, it's now coming back to me how, like, oh, this was like a nice full year of like film and cinema. So, what did you watch in June, Pat? What I watched in June? Not much, honestly. I, I watched one movie that wasn't a podcast movie. And I believe you mentioned it. It's uh, Rap Sh- Ra- Ra- Rap City Street Kids. <laughs> Oh my god, Rhapsody Street. Why was that not in here? Where is it? Oh my yeah, we watched god. That together. Why is that no, not here? That was, I, that was, was for uh, Poop Scoop Night. And, uh, Where the yeah, fuck I is it? <laughs> I wasn't there uh, watching it with you guys, but I know exactly what that you're talking July. about. That was July. Why no, did but... you guys watch that? That was June 3rd. Mine, w- mine says July 3rd. Is this not loading properly? That's weird. Okay, well. I don't know, but... Uh, oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, it is July 3rd. It is July 3rd. I you know I've watched nothing. I've not. I've watched nothing else in June. That, that was it. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess I guess that's a good way to move on to July, which was I think literally almost only. Yeah, this is pretty much only uh, podcast movies. The only few that are not. Uh, we watched Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I can't remember Yay! why. But uh, yeah, we watched. Uh, we all watched Who Framed Roger Rabbit together. Very fantastic fun. film. Very hi- highly recommend. A very big turning age for cinema and animation as a whole. Wonderful collaboration. Wonderful voice acting. Mel Blanc, rest his soul. Big voice in uh, the Looney Tunes industry, as well as the only. I repeat, the only collaboration in cinema history where Disney and Warner Brothers were okay with each other. <laughs> Oh, and uh, they got they got Robert Zemeckis to tie a bow on all this. Director of Force Gump and Back to the Future, like how, how this was a match made in heaven, and it'll probably never happen again. You will never. They tried doing it again with fucking Chip and Dale, and I'm like, go go fuck yourself. See, the thing is, they <laughs> didn't. Right? See, the thing is, they didn't. Yeah. <laughs> they really tried, and I said, yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> uh, this is. I think this this is your favorite movie, right? This is my yep. favorite movie. Yes. Yep. Man, great, like, great, great movie. I love it. Or to keep the little trend going that, uh, for little reviews, I only got a quote. If you don't have any sense of humor, you might as well be dead. <laughs> that is my quote takeaway from Who Frame Roger Rabbit. <laughs> That's a good quote. Um, here's something we watched in July that was a scrapped episode. Ms. Marvel. Uh, we ended yeah. up just like fucking not caring at all. <laughs> it, it, actually, I, I didn't mention it earlier, but uh, Moon Knight was something we watched, and uh, well, oh, I didn't yeah. talk about it. Another scrapped episode. All the all the Disney Plus Marvel shows are scrapped episodes. Yeah, remember when we did an it's episode not- on WandaVision? We said we'll do more. Yeah, that's yeah. the only one we're doing. Yep, pretty pretty they much. Lied. Unless, unless something really good pops up. Which it probably won't. That's the only one we're doing. (laughs) So far, Disney Plus shows have been very bleak. (laughs) Yep. Uh, So moving on, uh, Pat made me watch Dragon Ball Super Broly. So that was cool. Yeah. We watched uh, Batman. I watched Batman Returns on TV. Uh, This is Danny DePenguin, isn't it? <laughs> well, you like that. I love that name, Danny the Penguin. <laughs> uh, I watched a, a a little like animated documentary called The Lego Story. Uh, it's just like you know, it's, it's in the name Lego Story. We watched Knives Out because you gotta do that. We watched Everything Ever yeah. All at Once because you gotta do that. We watched Ocean's yeah. Twelve because you gotta do that. Yeah. Come on, man. This was a good month, dude. This was a good fucking month. <laughs> but. uh <laughs> The the most like interesting one is that I think Pat was there for when I watched it. I watched Akira. Akira, I I love this movie. I gave it four stars. The animation is really good. Uh, the story is what? 
Okay, that's a that's a very suitable response for <laughs> the story of Akira. <laughs> and the music is fucking amazing. Like it's it's, yeah, play, I, it's Blade I, Runner. Like it's great. I I think Akira gets better on subsequent rewatches only because it's such a weird fucking movie that like the first time like a lot of people label Akira as this movie that like doesn't doesn't make sense unless you're told what happens. And I think that's true only because it's so like bad shit fucking insane that you 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 can't like stop and sit down and absorb what's happening because you're too distracted by what's happening. There is a lot happening. This is hand drawn, right? Yes. yes. There's there's a lot happening on screen at once in this movie. And while all of this is happening, you still got to read the subtitles. So most of your focus is on the subtitles so you can, you know, read the actual fucking shit that's happening yeah. in the movie. <laughs> but at, and then like around the subtitles, you got these colors and, and explosions and, and shooting and all this shit happening. It's like, Jesus Christ, man, what is going on? But man, it's cool. It's a really, really cool movie. Yep. I would really recommend for people who have seen it and maybe couldn't get into it or people who haven't seen it. To give it a shot, and also just like go back to it, revisit Akira if you've already seen it, and maybe you don't like it or you didn't get it, revisit it because I think there's a lot of this movie to love. Um, but it is it is a lot to to take in. You know, I went on a little bit of a deep dive when like thinking about Akira, and I I found out like the movie ain't shit. Like if you start reading the actual manga <laughs> where the story is based off of. Um, it's worse in terms of storyline. Yeah, well, it confuses the absolute shit out of you. <laughs> yeah, well, we're not going to get into the manga. Yeah, the, the, the manga has the advantage of actually being the full completed story, whereas the movie isn't. Yeah. Um, let's just, but yeah, anyway, let's we're just not, stop we're not talking talk about, about Akira, because we're going to be here forever. We're I gonna could go on about Akira for more. a long time. It's a really good movie. So uh, what did you guys watch in July? Uh, aside from uh, Akira, that's the only movie I watched in July that wasn't for the podcast. Well, Steph? Or like, oh, actually, wait, no, we watched, uh, I don't know that this was for the podcast. I said in the Northman, that was for the yeah, podcast. Yeah, that was for the podcast. Check out the episode. Oh, that was a good, that was a good together watch, too. I like oh, that Oh, yeah, we, you were there, too. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, a, yeah we kept, so we I, kept I, mean, I, I didn't know because it's not in your letterbox. So. <laughs> we, kept, <laughs> we kept referring to it as the cinematic version of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, I loved it. I, I really loved, um, I completely forgot its name. Sorry. What was the name again? Again. The Northman. The Northman. <laughs> the Viking. <laughs> because there's, okay, there's a movie called The Barbarian, which for some reason, ever since that came out, that confused the absolute shit out of me on who the Northman and then the Barbarian. I thought the Barbarian was the Northman. Just, just, uh, yeah, but we watched the, we watched the Northman. Good, good movie. Let's, let's keep going. Five stars oh, yeah, for me, yeah. but like, uh, watch the episode if you want to hear our thoughts. But man, we need to keep this train going. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Moving on to August. I got nothing. Lib? I have a, I have a big one. Um, so when we have, we have some podcast scraps this month. Yeah, we got a few. We got a few. Yeah, we got a few. But I watched uh, Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie. This came oh, out. Oh, yes, that was so good. <laughs> it is a fan fucking task. Really good. Aside from that, I watched Elvis. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Meh. Mm. Meh. I watched uh, Bullet Train, which I rewatched this week, actually. Um, and I turned around on a little bit. Yeah, I love Bullet that in Train. theaters as well. Yeah, we watched yes. it together. Anyways. Yeah, we all. Uh, that was another like on a whim one. Like I remember joining the VC and you guys were like, "We're going to watch Bullet Train." I was like, "Oh, can I come?" Yeah. <laughs> we were pleasantly surprised. I laughed at the end. <laughs> and, uh, and, and that's it. That's all I watched. I mean, I fucking love Bullet Train, man. It's like f almost five stars for me, man. Pat was yeah, worried the entire like when we first saw the trailer for Bullet Train. Really quickly, um, he was worried that like it wasn't going to take place fully on the train. To his surprise, it was it fully did. on the train. It, it's all on the train. Fully on the train. Yeah, the whole movie. Yeah. He got what he wanted. Pat finally got what he wanted. That F <laughs> that Fiji water montage is like hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, shut up! Spoilers. <laughs> it's not. No, it's just just guys. If you're watching the movie, look out for the Fiji water. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Uh, yeah, I love it. Moving on. Yeah, I, I rewatched it this week. I liked it more the second go. Uh, it's a fun movie. I, I think if you if you want a dumb fun movie. Uh, okay. You should give it a chance because that's dumb fun. It's yeah. definitely done fun. It's done well. We also watched. Uh, so I forced Pat to watch these. These are the the 
I Am Groot shorts that we watched, all five of them. Uh, they're all yeah. bad. Was this for the podcast or this no. wasn't? No. <laughs> i just forced him to do it like we were just on vc and pat was like you want to watch something i was like oh i am groot <laughs> you know you notice how i didn't mind mention them that's my thoughts on them yep <laughs> uh i also rewatched monsters university this month that was good uh, i also rewatched all of the marcel the show with shoes on youtube shorts uh in preparation for the movie and then i didn't watch the movie well, <laughs> uh, if you remember last episode on episode 41, uh, I recommended during backlog, I recommended that me and Pat watch Marcelo's show with shoes on. And we're not going to talk about that this episode, uh, but next episode, we are going to talk about Marcelo's show with shoes on. So make sure you check it out. I watched it. It's good. I liked it. Very cute. Almost made me cry. <laughs> Almost made me cry. <laughs> <laughs> Almost made me cry. And at the end of August, I watched the sequel to Murder on the Orient Express, Death on the Nile. Uh, see, we finally came full circle on that. Uh, mm -hmm. Death on the Nile is fine. It's less of a mystery movie, more of a, like, just, just like, a, a silent comedy. I don't know how to, I don't know how to say it. It's like, it's, 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 it's not really a whodunit. It's like mm -hmm. someone got murdered on a boat. We gotta find out who it is, but instead, look at these jokes. <laughs> that that's that's what it is. It's not that great. Uh, Kenneth Bragan, listen, dude. I'm gonna say it. You're not a good director. <laughs> oh. You're just hitting, you're hitting him where it hurts. You're just not you're just not a good director. I'm sorry to tell you, Artemis Fowl was garbage. You did Artemis Fowl. I'm yeah, sorry, did. Artemis Fowl. He did it. That stunk. <laughs> yeah, uh, he did Cinderella, eh. he did Belfast, eh. Death on the Nile, eh. Murder on the Orient Express, pretty good. Thor 1, I think it's good, but most people say it's eh, so like, you know. It... He did Thor 1? Yep. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yep, he did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, cool guy. <laughs> cool, man, cool guy. Um, But that's pretty much it for August. I'll, uh, I'll start September off running because I rewatched oh. Spider Man No Way Home. Yeah, a we podcast all did. movie. And then I watched Click, a podcast movie. But all <laughs> that was built up. It was set up for the movie of all time Dragon Ball Super, Superhero. It was fine. Uh, that <laughs> I thought I thought you were gonna set up to Borat cultural learnings of America for make benefit glorious nation of yeah, Kazakhstan. We, we watched that. We watched it again. <laughs> yeah, but but no, we're not gonna talk about that till later. I don't know. Like, okay, in terms of story, it's like the same. It's Dragon Ball. What do I expect? Right? It's Dragon Ball. It's but like, Dragon Ball movie. I don't you understand. You and Nat really don't like the animation style. I think they fucking yeah. pulled it off. Here's my here's my review of Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Okay, my review in thirty seconds. This movie has some has one of the biggest ass pulls of the franchise, and it represents everything I hate about Dragon Ball as a franchise. Has but I biggest fucking what? biggest ass pulls of the franchise and represents <laughs> everything I hate about modern Dragon Ball. <laughs> I fucking loved it. It was so cool. What do you mean, ass pulls? What are you talking about? We'll talk about it after this. We'll talk about it after this. After that. Okay. It was so cool. Oh, are you, are you uh, talking about, like, a... all the, I guess, the formula? Okay. Well, okay. Well, anyways, uh, before this becomes an anime talk, in September, I don't, I don't, I don't want to, I don't know if I should call it a live action, but the, I guess it is the live action Pinocchio movie came out. Okay. Good. I was going to mention it. <laughs> um. Yeah, look, look okay, because... This is where I defer from a lot of people, okay? Because everybody says this movie sucks. Including this guy right here who's going to talk about how much it sucks. Steph, talk about how much it sucks. How's my mic? Is my mic good? Am I, am I, am I good? You're, you're really close to the mic. <laughs> I'm the one fucking job. <laughs> All right, so I don't know. I don't know if the I don't know if you guys heard that. I don't know if the mic picked it up, but he said you had one fucking job. Disney, you have one one job. There you go. That picked <laughs> up. That one picked up. <laughs> I I don't understand. You had everything right there on a silver platter, and all like, I don't understand why you had to add in the love interest that went nowhere. I don't understand why. Oh my god, why was it shadow people? Why was it shadow people? Oh my god. <laughs> now, now, here's where uh, I defer. I think this movie's good. 
I like it. I like this movie. I think it's good. Uh, Art is I, in, the, in the eye of the beholder. That's all I have to say about now, that. Now, now, everybody's just mad. Everybody's just mad because they changed the story. But I think change is good. And I like the changes they made. And I like this movie. You're stupid. Can I, can I read my review? Like, straight up read my review? You didn't even watch it! <laughs> no, no, let me read my review. Let me read my, let me read my five-star review of Pinocchio. Okay. okay. So I didn't actually watch it. I was sitting in a Discord call with people who were. I wasn't even looking at the stream. But apparently, I followed along well enough. So well, in fact, that I left with 20 minutes left. But I still watched it. Yeah. Cha-cha real smooth. <laughs> oh, we need to watch that movie. <laughs> uh, I want to watch it. I want to watch it again. I want you to give it the same goddamn review and the same likeness to it as you have now, Lib. Okay, I will. Uh, and I guarantee you I will. Because it's, it's, Pin- it's just the Pinocchio story with a twist. What's wrong with change, Steph? What it's tell- not change! What's wrong with change? change? Has to go- a change has to have an overarching story. I don't mind if you do little peaks and tweaks of it. That's fine. But they have to have a reason why they're there. It's there to make the movie longer. No, it's not. I mean, yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm back now. <laughs> but I want to mention that this was a beginning step of this new trend that I have been seeing, not only in the film industry, but also in the gaming industry. The Pinocchio is for some reason making a resurgence. Which I absolutely love. I like that people have in your own little takes on well, it. The, and we'll get to the next movie very soon. I mean, I you know you know why, right? Why Pinocchio is making a resurgence? Yeah. I don't. It just became fair use like two years ago. Are you serious? I didn't yeah. know. Yeah. That's, oh, that's, 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 why, that's why Lies of P is a thing. <laughs> I was not aware of this. But yes, Lies of P, the video game. The Souls-type Pinocchio video game. Yes, you heard correctly. Which looks amazing. Again, not a video game. Not podcast, a video game though. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, I like this new trend that Pinocchio. Ever, I didn't know about this that Pinocchio became fair use. Like it has suddenly started popping off. Yep. Like everybody wanted to get their hands on it. So I can't wait for and, more. Look okay, at Winnie the Pooh. Same things happening there. Yep. Okay, but Winnie the Pooh is a little bit different. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's the same story, really. Oh, by the way, Steph, they are showing Blood and Honey at, in Cineplex. Let's go! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, moving on. Right, moving on. Moving on. What's yeah, next? That's yeah, that's everything I watched in September that wasn't podcast related. Oh, I watched a few stuff in September that wasn't podcast related. I watched a video called Capybara Walking. I did what? It's called Capybara Walking. It's a. What's it about? It's a in nineteen not nineteen in eighteen eighty seven a video of a capybara walking, one of the first motion pictures ever made. Want to see it? <laughs> <laughs> No, we don't have the time. No, yeah, you do. Come on, there you go. <laughs> you button pusher. Check it out. Are you guys watching? Yep. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, I pull up. Go to the after Picture. party. I'm seeing a trend of today's episode. <laughs> <laughs> Live watching the first of something. <laughs> uh, anyways, um. After that, I watched Elvis. That was for the podcast, but I just want to say I still haven't finished it. Just an update on that. It? Yeah, it was for backlogged, but just as a uh, as an update for that backlogged, I still have not finished the movie. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't think I will. But moving on. Um, hey, you Sorry, I just don't know. Elvis. Elvis. Oh, Elvis. Yeah. yeah, yeah well, he well, made well, a lot of well. girls come. Mm-hmm. That's all I gotta say about that. That's, movie. that's a two man uh, live quote. So uh, we're switching <laughs> we're switching this to a video game podcast real quick because do you guys know the game Papers Please? Oh yeah. Uh, some really talented people made a short film on Papers Please, and I watched it in September. It's pretty good. It's really really good. I'll link it to you guys uh, if you guys want to watch it later. It's in like, it's like eighteen minutes long. It's really really good. Switching back to a movie podcast. <laughs> me and I think it was me and Steph and one other person. Uh, we we just for on a whim just watched finding nemo because we felt like it <laughs> yeah. remember that it's, it's it, that's my comfort movie i like finding yeah i love finding nemo but the the funny thing is uh i typed finding nemo on letterbox and then got something called i uh, i typed finding dory and then i got a short film called dory finding and then we watched that and it was terrible <laughs> It was these little animated shorts with no little to no dialogue and Dory just finding these little trinkets on the bottom of the ocean for like two seconds and then called, fade to black. It's just called Dory Finding, man. That's why we watched it. 
Um, and then uh, to end off September, on September 28th, I finished Cyberpunk Edge Runners, uh, my favorite anime of all time, but it's because I've only seen like two of them. <laughs> uh, it was very, very good. I think at one point we wanted to make an episode on this, but it just didn't happen. Uh, but that's pretty much it for September. Now moving on to October. Man, jeez, we're, we're almost there, man. What's, oh my god, two hours. <laughs> <laughs> we're almost there. I'll, I'll start off with mine because I only have one in October. And that's Daniel Radcliffe's What If. Oh, um, yeah. A... yeah. You liked that a lot, didn't you? I really <laughs> like this. I, I've never resonated with a rom-com so much in my life. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I like this rom-com is like another like weird comfort movie for me it's like i don't know like if you ever are like this sort of hopeless romantic or like if you're trying to look for love like i think this is the movie to watch to like yeah still love in the sun there's still love in the world love works in very weird ways unfair but weird ways um and i really like this movie it's very well played by daniel radcliffe mr harry potter himself and zoe kazan <laughs> well done that's all I got for October. <laughs> <laughs> in October, I watched Blonde, which was the um, Marilyn oh, Monroe movie. Yeah, we're going to skip past it. <laughs> yeah, we're skipping it. It was really bad. It was really, really bad. Uh, we watched Scream, uh, like just as a group. Pretty cool. Uh, we also watched Kung Fu Panda on my birthday. That was fun. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no, sorry. Did we watch another movie? Well, we watched half a movie before we watched Kung Fu Panda. Then we watched Barnyard. <laughs> yeah, we watched a bit of Barnyard too on my birthday. Um, little small story. While we were watching Barnyard, the challenge that I gave for my brother because he was such a big Barnyard fanatic is that he turned around. Shout out to Big didn't... Al. <laughs> Shout out to Big Al. He turned around from the screen as one scene was playing and reenacted the entire scene blindfolded. Yeah. <laughs> It was amazing to see, actually. Uh, I also watched uh, Lupin the Third, the first. So this is a movie that Steph recommended to me a while ago because he was like, "You don't like anime? Watch this." I didn't say that, but all right. <laughs> no, that's that's the whole point. Like we we were talking about how I don't like anime, and then he was like, "You should watch Lupin the Third, the first. And then mm -hmm. I watched Lupin the Third, the first. And not only does it have a very confusing name. Uh, but it's, it's, it's all right. It's all right. I gave it three stars. The animation's pretty, like, pretty, uh, smooth, really nice. I've never quite seen animation like this. Music was good. Acting was meh. And the girl who sang all the music in Persona 5 is in this movie. So I give it three stars. I like Arsene Lupin. I like Sherlock Holmes. You know, I'm easy to please. Yeah. Uh, I'm easy to please. I watched, uh... uh didn't didn't know this was on Letterbox, but I watched uh, the history of the entire world. I guess, yeah, that's it. Just just to go back to anime first, because I watched uh, th that month. I made a I made a decision in life that I was gonna rewatch all the Pokemon movies, all of them, for no reason at all, but it ended up being very very convenient given it was announced two months later. But I started with Pokemon, the first movie, Pokemon the movie two thousand. Which released in the year 2000. It's funny, guys. It's the second movie and it That's released crazy. in 2000. <laughs> Except it's a lie. It was 99. <laughs> and then I watched Pokemon 3, the movie. Uh, these are all super nostalgic movies for me. I like them. They're fun. Um, rest in peace, Ash Ketchum. <laughs> then yep. He's not gonna die, my god. We watched Werewolf by Night. And this oh, is yeah, a, yeah, a, a short. It's real good. I quite enjoyed this. This is the best thing Disney Plus has produced. Yeah, and uh, come on. Disney... Make Michael Giacchino direct more stuff. But more importantly, something Lib neglected to mention. On the same day we watched Scream, we watched another movie. Oh yeah, I forgot. We watched uh, Minions The Rise of Gru. <laughs> <laughs> did A I funny forget story or did I just Minions? want Pat to say it? A <laughs> uh, funny story for Minions. So we, we agreed to, to meet up at my place for a certain time. I, I was bored, so I was like, let's put out a movie and see if I can finish the movie before everybody shows up. I did. And it was Minions Rise of Gru. <laughs> and it was Minions Rise of Gru. What did you guys think of Minions? I don't think I've ever asked you guys this. Three stars. Uh, yeah, I, gave, I think Rise of Gru is fine. Like, it's not a bad movie. Yeah, I think it's pretty average. Um, I was there when we watched Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda is great. Oh, wait, but hold on. I didn't understand movie... the fuck. Hold on. I didn't understand why everybody was, such, was so on the bandwagon that Minions Rise of Gru is like A-list film. Oh, it, it, was was just a meme. Meme. It, was, it was just a meme. It was just... 
Twitter being Twitter. Yeah. No, but even on Cinema Score, it was like an A plus. It, like it's fine. I, I like it's it's not a bad movie. Yeah, um, it's all right. Anyway, sorry. Go on. You don't know you're good. <laughs> sorry, sorry. But to end off October, there's three movies I want to single out because one, I watched The Babadook. Ooh, the Babadook. Yeah. It, it is Babadook. a an indie thriller. And it was pretty good. I watched it because my friend had to watch it for a class, and I just watched it with them. Why can't you? Uh, I watched. Ha- I watched Halloween Town. This was for Nat. We watched it in her server. It's a fun time. I haven't seen it in like twenty years. <laughs> but the most important movie to talk about that I started watching in October. It's a franchise. <laughs> some some lore. Some some context. Mm, here it in, is. in January of twenty twenty two, I said I was gonna watch the whole Harry Potter franchise. Because I had never seen them before, and uh, it is a lot of my friends' favorite franchises, or one of their favorite franchises. I was yelled at to no end to watch these movies. <laughs> so on January 1st, 2022, I need to stress this, January 1st, 2022, <laughs> I said I would watch the Harry Potter franchise. Now you might notice, this is October. <laughs> 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 on October 31st, on Halloween, <laughs> I watched Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. And I thought it was good. We're going to be uh, sif- siphling through the Harry Potter movies as we finish off 2022 here. Uh, but that's pretty much it for October. I'm only to make a bet here. What? By the time that the Fresh Off the Reel finally comes to its end, that's when Pat will finally watch all of the Harry Potter movies. <laughs> He's only missing well, two. Uh, He's only spoiler, missing two. Spoilers for the rest of the list. I'm only missing two. Yeah. <laughs> um. So now, moving on to November. It's time for a bit more lore. There's this joke that me and Pat all had for a while. I don't remember where in, when it started, but it started a while ago. Where we're just bored. Sometimes we're bored and we just want to watch a movie sitting in Discord. And I would just be like, hey, Pat, want to watch Rocky? And, and then he'd say, no, I don't want to watch Rocky. And then we didn't watch Rocky. But one day, one this this went on for a really long time. But then one day, I said, Pat, do you want to watch Rocky? And he said the magic word, maybe. <laughs> and then we watched it. On November 3rd, 2022, we started our Rocky Marathon. <laughs> <laughs> Which is uh, still ongoing. So we'll also be cycling for the Rocky movies as they come up. Yep. <laughs> um, in preparation for Creed 3. This is why we decided to watch these movies when we did. So Creed 3 is coming out this March. We will be doing an episode on it. So we're going to be watching all the, re-watching all the Rocky movies and the Creed movies. Even the poopy ones. Even Rocky and, 5 and, uh... and 6. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have more to say about Rocky and Creed when we get to Creed 3. We'll yep. Go over the whole franchise. Um, after that, we rewatched Halloween in the server. Uh, and, you know, because it's November, so you watch Halloween. Of course, that's what happens. Uh, we, we watched Halloween in November? Because I was there, at least like at the middle of it. That was yeah. in November? Yeah, it was November yep. 4th. Yep. <laughs> I watched Halloween ends on November 3rd, and then that's how we watched Halloween. Yep, we watched Halloween 1 because we were like, man, yeah. <laughs> All right. November 5th, I watched Aquaman because I was like, you know what? I've never watched any of the DCU movies. I'll watch Aquaman because it's the least bad and yeah, it's the least bad one. It's it's pretty good. I gave it three and a half. Honestly, I thought it was like I thought the jokes were funny. I thought the acting was great, and I like the story. And the the set pieces are really pretty. It's it's just a beautiful movie. I like it. I like Aquaman. And I think Lib is wrong. <laughs> no, I understand. Uh, <laughs> then on November eighth. We we did it, guys. We watched Rocky 2. <laughs> we did it. We continued it. The joke didn't end. Uh, then we watched some podcast movies, Kung Pao Under the Fist. Great. The Thing. And then we watched The Thing two days later. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Go check out our episodes on The Thing, which I think was last episode. Um, I'm pre- Yeah, it was. <laughs> yep. No, it was. <laughs> Shit, dude. It's been a while. We took a nice long break there. Happy holidays, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then on November 16th, 
You won't believe what we watched. Rocky 3. I, I That's when I joined into the mix a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it was good. It was good. I love Rocky 3. Then we watched Black Panda Wakanda Forever, and which is uh, uh, another Scraps podcast episode. Yeah. All right. So, guys, uh, sorry. Sorry to tell you this. I don't know if anyone was looking forward to it, really. But uh, for the last, like, three episodes, we were saying that we would do Black Panther Wakanda Forever. But guess what we're not doing? Black Panda Wakanda Forever. Uh, not be- not because it was bad. I-, I I enjoyed it, actually. Yeah, I gave it four stars. Four stars. I just think, it, was, uh... it was very enjoyable. I think yeah. Black Panther Wakanda Forever has one of the most appealing world building I've ever seen in a Marvel film. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's four stars. It's Huge good. props. Huge props. I actually to like, uh, I like Shuri in this movie, which is saying a lot because I don't like Shuri. Yeah, I hate her. <laughs> like, like, she was up there with Nebula, but like now she's down here here with captain america characters i don't like but tolerate <laughs> <laughs> yeah what kind of forever was was good it was a, a pretty decent way to end off the phase um i just uh don't really want to dedicate an episode to it anymore i feel like we missed the time yeah um we were moving on to uh, other other projects oh Bigger but um better things whoever I, I i can't find her name in the cast list but the actress who played the queen won a golden globe last night well, and, yeah, and it was the first first actor to ever win a golden globe from a marvel movie yeah. <laughs> oh, interesting. that's, that's really point. okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, but no but good on, but good for her she i think she did really she sorry i can't i can't find well. i can't find her name in the cast list um but yeah and also in november we watched on the 28th, a fiery fun day because we watched Glass Onion uh, and man, what a good movie. I rewatched it. Uh, I rewatched it like a couple days ago. Man, it's so good. So good. So good. You guys should all watch Knives Out and you should also watch Glass Onion. Yeah, both movies are fantastic. Maybe something we'll talk about more in the future. Tee hee. Hmm. I love Elon um, Musk, a biopic. <laughs> Elon Musk, biopic. <laughs> yeah, like like, uh, like Lib was saying, where we continued the Rocky movies. We we got the, the end of Rocky 3 in, in this month. I continued the Harry Potter movies. <laughs> uh, I watched uh, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, and Goblet of Fire. Yeah, and Goblet of Fire, that's it. I watched those ones in November. Nice. Mm-hmm. Um, they're good. Uh, Prisoner of Azkaban is the best one. That's a very common, uh, big pea-brained opinion because everyone agrees, but it's true. It's the best one, <laughs> and I I haven't seen the last two yet. The, the duology, but I'm sure this will still be the lot the best one. I'm yep. The, uh, that's probably gonna stay. Did you watch? Uh, did you watch anything in November, uh, Steph? Wait, I have one more. I have two more movies to talk about. Yeah, okay, I know, well, I know, then. I know what the last one is. Let's save it. Yeah. <laughs> Before the last one, I have I watched a One Piece film red. Ooh. Oh, how was it? It was a One Piece movie. Yeah, how was it? <laughs> no, how was it? How was it? How was it? the One Piece movie? It was fine. <laughs> uh, how many stars? Three and a half, but it might go down to a three. It All right. <laughs> so what did you watch in November, stuff? Nothing unless the ones that I remembered with you guys. <laughs> so well, <laughs> De- December. Let's go to no, wait, 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 what did we watch? <laughs> we watched the Super Mario Bros. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> do 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 the do. Mario swing your arms from side to side. <laughs> yeah, um we we watched the Mario movie because we were like, hey. All right, moving on. We went to uh, in December, <laughs> we continued <laughs> our our Rocky marathon. December 2nd, we watched Rocky 4, and that's where we're at. We stopped yeah. there. <laughs> Rocky Five stinks. This is the first month where we have no podcast episode. Yeah, well, yeah, because uh, we took a took really a we took, took a, a nice we could, took break. a nice long break. Uh, it was a very good break. I mean, you know, it was just a uh, it was the holiday season. You know, time to hang out with friends, family, go on vacation, do whatever. You know, it was a little break. You know, the the break between Get seasons. Get some figgy pudding. Get some it's figgy great. pudding. Have a coquet Saint Jacques. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> and then you could watch Big Mama's House. <laughs> and then you could watch, we which... watched <laughs> nice not segue. the first one, but we watched Big Mama's House two and Big Mama's House three. 
one of our friends did watch the first one. I don't know if anyone joined him on that, but we did join him on the second one and the third one. <laughs> I was not aware there was a third Big Mama's house. I had DVDs of both one and two Big Mama's house. I was not aware there was a third one. Dude, the third one is the best one, man. <laughs> it's now I need to see the third one. It's Big Mama's High School Musical, dude. It's amazing. <laughs> it's called Big Mama's Like Father Like Son. And get it? It's Big Mama's because they're both in costume in this one. This has nothing to do with the, the actual film whatsoever. But Pat addressed a tweet that I fucking love. Oh, yes. And it's Big the Mama theme. versus Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Big Mama versus Mrs. Doubtfire, who wins? And my take is Mrs. Doubtfire wins high difficulty. <laughs> but then but then OP was like, what about the twerk off? And Big Mama wins the twerk Big off. Big Mama wins the twerk off. Big Mama immediately wins twerk off. <laughs> uh, but before we watch Big Mama's house, uh, just to like get in the Christmas spirit, me and Pat watched Home Alone because it's Home Classic. Alone. Classic. Classic. It's, classic. You know, it's a classic. A classic. classic. Movie. And then, um, again, before Christmas, we watched uh, Mickey's Christmas Carol. Oh yeah. yes, we did. That yeah, and then we watched the uh, the Disney sing along, uh, "Very Merry Christmas." Yep. Which yep. I this found was on. on uh, it was on New Year's Eve. It was like we decided to go all the way back to 2002. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was midnight on New Year's Eve, but uh, I mean, like, it was. Uh, I'm just, I guess it's something <laughs> to to out myself on. When I watch a movie at midnight, I, I log it as I watched it the day before. So, like, if I watched a movie at 2 a.m. Christmas Eve, like what we did with Mickey's Christmas Carol, I have it as watching it December 23rd. That's fair. That's fair. I, I don't know why I do that. I just I, I just do that. Because it, it, for me, it's more like I watched it the night of the 23rd, not the, not the early morning of the 24th. Right. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, on Christmas Eve at my grandmother's house, we watched Elf because it's a 14-year tradition that I have that I will not end. <laughs> well, you see, Ste Steph and I also watch Christmas movies on Christmas Eve because we spent Christmas Eve together. Uh, we, we watched, watched two Christmas. very, very jolly Christmas <laughs> movies. We watched uh, Black very Adam. Very jolly Christmas movies, indeed. Uh, watched Black Adam, which sucked. <laughs> and we watched Top Gun Maverick, which was amazing. Pat couldn't stop pestering the dinner table to watch <laughs> Top Gun Maverick. I kept <laughs> eyeballing thing, our grandfather, right? saying, "Hey, Top Gun Maverick." <laughs> it's a good, good film, and that's the last movie I watched in in of twenty twenty two. That's it. Yep. Uh, just uh, you know, I I also watched a a Christmas movie. I watched Die Hard. <laughs> I didn't watch Die Hard last. I have to watch Die Hard. Oh, you didn't watch Die Hard. <laughs> On the 22nd, I watched Die Hard at a party. <laughs> nice. What, yeah, so what did you watch in December stuff? Uh, Basically the same. I have nothing on my letterbox otherwise, but uh, I can't believe my last movie. Like, I, I don't know if this is a bad thing or not. I think it's a good thing. But my last movie of 2022 was Top Gun Maverick. You know what? That's a good way to end it off. That's a good way to end off 2022. Man, what a year. Like, honestly, this was a pretty good year for movies, I would say. Yeah, I, I had a good year. Yeah. Uh, is it all right if I just finalize with one final movie? Yeah. It, like, this is right after, and it's directly after New Year's. I decided to do the, put this upon myself to start up the new year with a good movie uh, with Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. Oh, yeah. Which is... One, this is January 1st, the exact time it was New Year's. I went home after getting not, I'm not it wasn't drunk, I was like mild tipsy. <laughs> we we at most. You a little bit, uh... <laughs> it was almost mild tipsy at most. Had some nice champagne, went home, stood up, and watched Guillermo del Toro Spinocchio at like one o'clock in the morning. And it was wonderful. You know what was the first movie we watched in, in 2023? What? Food Fight. <laughs> nope, that's the first movie you watched in 2023. The first no, movie no, I no. watched in 2023 was Puss in Boots. No, the first movie I watched in 2023 was Glass Onion. It's the first movie we watched together in 2022. Yeah. It was Food Fight. <laughs> Fucking crap. Puss in Boots. I love this. Anyway, we'll talk about that next I year. Puss in Boots. Ne what do you mean next year? It's this, this year. year. This, this year. year. Come Look, on, because... The episode will come out next year. You know what? It's Fuck you guys. We're coming back in 2024 with Puss in Boots. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, uh, that's all the movies we watched in 2022. Uh, I know this was a really long one, but, you know, season season premiere, you know, we got to get a nice long one, fill in all the gaps, all the movies we missed. Season's greetings, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, happy 2023, we have, uh, we have two more movies to talk about, though. Yeah, we yes, do. we do. We have three more movies to talk about. Let's move on to Backlog, the segment where we recommend each other movies. Let's talk about in the next episode. Now, if you remember, last time we had our lovely guest here, Stefano, on the show, which was pretty much exactly a year ago, uh, mm-hmm. almost to the date. Like, it's like 10 days away. Uh, <laughs> if you remember the guest rules of Backlogged, um, me and Pat recommend one movie to the guest, and then the guest recommends us a movie. And if that guest so happens to come back on the show, we'll talk about the movie they recommended us. And just so it happens, we got Steph back, and last time he was on the show, he recommended us The Green Knight, which we watched three days ago. But yeah, let's start with uh, let's start with uh, Borat. So mm-hmm. yeah, so we made Steph watch both Borat movies. What did you think? Tell us what you thought. Uh, I think they were pretty average movies. I like. Uh, I personally liked the first one more than the second one. The first one was like a true, true to heart social experiment. The fact that he went around and like I think he he did his thing. Like there was no there was no like obst like not like like I'm talking an obstacle that like stopped the show or at least the type of obstacle that you would see in the second movie. But that was just the direct result of because of the first movie, he became so famous that it would be almost impossible to film out in the open without him getting recognized. The first one allowed him to do much more. Very risky. <laughs> very much for its time. I don't think uh, it holds up well to this day. But uh, for like a one-off goof laugh, if you guys, if anybody in the audience loves social, so, social experimental films... Uh, this is definitely has to be one of them, and it's incredibly, incredibly funny. The second one was more plot driven. It was more of a story, less than a social experiment. Uh, and yeah. because of the amount of restrictions and the time that it came out, he had he, Borat had a lot more was more restricted on his jokes and restricted on his social experimental aspect. Not only because he kept, um, not only because he kept getting noticed while filming. But also, he couldn't say what he wanted, <laughs> uh, like he did in the first film. Uh, so there was a lot more restrictions to that, and he it decided to go a lot more plot driven than the first one, uh, which I think hindered it a little bit, or at least the goal of the, or at least the main goal of the second film. But overall, okay, movies. We'll never watch again, unless <laughs> with friends. <laughs> You you did watch it a second time. <laughs> I would never watch it again alone. I would I would watch it with friends though. Yeah, no. Borat is not a film to watch alone. Yeah. They're yeah. fun party movies. Yep. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So uh, we're we're happy you uh, enjoyed it? Question mark. I'm content with it. <laughs> All right. Good. That's good enough. <laughs> All right. Um. So now uh, we're gonna talk about uh, Green Knight. Uh, but very briefly, because there's a lot to talk about with Green Knight. On- honestly, so much that it kind of deserves its own episode. This is not a confirmation that there's going to be an episode, though. Just letting you know. This is, this yeah, is and fun fact, a scrapped episode idea. <laughs> yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so watching The Green Knight, it was really good. It it reminded me a lot of The Northman. Like, it was, like it's it's... Very similar to, like, something... If you got the Northman and you added it up with the power of the dog, you get the Green Knight. It's, it's like... It is based off a, a novel. Can't remember the name of the author. Um, but it's basically what happens after the famous King Arthur story. Arthur's king in this, in this movie. And it's talking... The movie is about uh, Sir Gawain... I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's his nephew. And the movie's about him and his journey to face the Green Knight's challenge. And you know what? It was a challenge well met. It's a good movie. It's very good. It's beautiful. Some of the shots, like some of the scenes are just fucking gorgeous. The acting is phenomenal. The fact that this movie didn't even get any nominations for any Oscar is a crime. How? Not even best cinematography? Fuck, it deserved it. That shocked me. 
it's a, it's a really good movie. I think it's an interesting like look at the King Arthur story because whenever that that, that story is adapted in anything, it's always either you know the sword and the stone. So before Arthur is king, um, while Arthur is king, or the story of Lancelot. It's never really about the other knights of the Round Table, uh, at least in like big media. Obviously, if you're like an anime fan, fate exists, and and there's other versions of the story out there. But whenever we see King Arthur or like the Arthurian legend. It's it's very limited in how it's adapted in, in like big media like this. So it was cool to see a story about Gawain, and, and kind of like the hero's journey, told in in this uh, A twenty four way. Yep, <laughs> told uh, in it's a very really A24 it's a really way. weird movie, but it is it is shot beautifully. The costumes are fantastic. The acting, the performances are stellar. Um, I, it's a lot. It's a really good time for those who like the King Arthur story, or even just people who like more medieval fantasy kind of movies um it's really good i would recommend it uh, wholeheartedly yeah i would also highly recommend this movie uh for anyone who's who finished elden ring recently and need that itch <laughs> <laughs> like me who finished I'm, it for I'm, the ninth time if you're a fan of elden ring you're definitely going to be a fan of green i'm very very happy like truly like i'm very happy that you guys both enjoyed it I, I knew going, like, when I was going to suggest this the, this movie to you, I knew it was very A24. The editing is very much like you would see in Midsummer and Hereditary, but it would, it's something new. It's something, it's something extraordinary. I love every aspect of this film. And I'm, I'm glad that, Lib, you agree with me that, like, at least it should have been nominated for at least, like, one thing. Best Cinematography is my pick. It should have been yeah. that. Yeah, Either it best have been cinematography or costume or set design. Like, you're, like it's just like, at least, yeah, exactly. For, like, one one thing, and it didn't. And that's, like, because that's so much hard work. Because yeah. that's, a, that's a film, to me, in my eyes, a film that is loved. A film that throughout every step of the way that it, a lot of heart and soul went to it. And you could tell that everybody had absolute just wonder putting their effort into this so I'm, I'm very glad that you guys really enjoyed it yeah, it was a it very good happy. recommendation yeah it yep. makes me very it makes me very happy thank you and uh on the note of good recommendations you're not gonna uh, like we, my next one <laughs> we have a recommendation for you and you have a recommendation for us yeah, yes i do let's start with uh let's start with ours let's let's start with ours because go uh, ahead yeah so um i we were kind of i was i don't know if pat was but i was dropping hints to it the whole time <laughs> Uh, uh, I, wasn't. I wasn't. I don't know if you caught any of my hints, uh, but much like last time, <laughs> it, it, we told Steph to compile a list of ten or so movies that he wants to watch and send it to us, and then we'd pick one of them, which is the same thing we did last time. In your list, we got some good ones here. This is. Let's, I'm gonna read out the list just because I want to out Stefano. Uh, he never watched. Uh, Gladiator or Coda. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. All right, just gonna say. What is a weird, well, weird one for you not to have seen this? Because I feel like you would have gone out of your way to see the Best Picture winner. Yeah, I, I was supposed to. I had like mental plans, like okay, I'm gonna go see Coda. Time. I'm gonna see so Coda, Time, and then completely forget about it. That's fair. You you are a busy bee. So, yeah. Those are yeah. not movies that we're going to recommend you. Um, but somewhere on this list, you said any James Bond film. That was a dangerous one to put there, my friend. <laughs> I haven't seen a single James Bond film. Because we could have given you Die Another Day. Like, we could have. <laughs> we just I, I, you you could have. Um, I would have still watched it. <laughs> but we're going to be nice. We're going to be nice to you. And we're going to give you... This is not my favorite James Bond film, but I think it's Pat's, right? It's mine. Yeah, so this is Pat's favorite James Bond movie, and it's my second favorite, so it's good enough. And I think it's overall the best one. So we're going to be recommending you Casino Royale. Oh. Not the 1967 one. Don't get confused. The Daniel, <laughs> Daniel Craig, Craig one. Yeah, the, the, Dan one. The, the, the good one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and if you want, we could watch it together because I want to watch it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I don't mind. I'm down. Yeah, I uh, can't believe you have never seen a James Bond no, movie, honestly. I can't, I can't say. I, I'm... I'm... I don't know. I I've never been very drawn to James Bond. I suppose. Well, uh, next time uh, you come onto our show, uh, we can talk up a little bit about uh, Casino Royale and also about the movie you're about to recommend us. Yes. Um. You guys have done done some recent tech work, right? 
done oh. it for a friend of ours, a mutual oh, friend yeah. of ours, correct? Yeah, 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 How yes. did that went? That, that went well? Went well? All right. We are the IT guys. Yeah, so you're 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 IT technical guys. In an extent, would you call yourself hackers? Mm, yeah, yeah. I, I I would I would say that I've hacked a thing or two. Because that is the movie that I am recommending you guys to watch called Hackers. <laughs> And just to make sure, I am talking about the 1995 one. <laughs> the one with uh, Angelina Jolie's first ever debut. Uh, so, have fun. <laughs> yep. See, this is, this is on our list for, uh, for Poop Scoop Nights. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah, and I I've, get... I've wanted Lid and Pat to watch, this to watch this video, to watch this film for so long. It like, didn't occur to me. Like to to tell them till this episode, I finally got my opportunity to tell them to watch Hackers. We're gonna watch Hackers. <laughs> it's a a wild fucking ride. <laughs> <laughs> I think it really dives into the IT mentality. <laughs> oh no, I think the bad guys got that one, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that joke. Though. I love that scene. <laughs> but that's my recommendation. I hope you enjoy. Well, we sure will. Uh, <laughs> too bad we won't talk about it for another year. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you'll uh, join us for an episode that's not a year in review. Um, if not, I will fade into the obscurity until I see you within the next new year. Oh, no, come on. You won't fade into obscurity because if you're watching on YouTube, uh, you're seeing right now on screen a list of everywhere you can find Steph right now is Twitter his uh, YouTube, Instagram, everything you can find him on. You can find it right here. He's also on a YouTube channel called Balsamic Productions. Check that out. And if you're not on YouTube, you can check out the description of this episode, which you can see on the, I think it's on the left of the episode on Spotify. Uh, you're going to see all Steph's information there where you can find him. Uh, or you could just click on the YouTube and click on the links directly right there. Thank you so much for uh, for having me. I appreciate it. And by the way, guys, before I leave, happy belated one year anniversary. Well, th thank you, man. Thank you. Thank thanks, you. Thanks. You so guys much. done some excellent work, and I'm very very proud of both of you for keeping this <laughs> keeping this up for a year. Oh, well, oh like, I, I really I I really envy that. I truly do. This is not a bit. This is not a joke. Oh well, uh, I'm, well we appreciate you saying that, and uh, we appreciate all of you for uh, taking the time to listen to the season three premiere fresh off the reel uh season three kicking off a great long episode for you god damn pat this is two hours and 30 minutes <laughs> yeah, good luck editing bucko oh you fucker you motherfucker <laughs> i'm just a personality i'm just a pretty face <laughs> Uh, well, thank you guys so much. Uh, if you like this episode and you want to see more, make sure to follow us on Spotify, subscribe to us on YouTube, check out our Anchor page, uh, and you'll find all of that on our link tree. That's linktr.ee slash fresh off the reel. Uh, no caps, no spaces. On there, you will also find a form at the top of the list so you can fill out to recommend us a movie or a TV show. We'll take that recommendation and then we'll make an episode about it. So if you want to influence an episode and we're going to be chugging those along in season three, make sure to send in those recommendations. Lastly, of course, you can find our letterbox accounts at the end of the link tree if you want to keep up with the movies we're watching and get podcast spoilers. Uh, but with that being said, that's going to be it. So the three of us will see you in a theater near you. Goodbye, everyone, and thanks, Steph, for joining along. It's an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a good one.